my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Hello, friends. Hello. Uh, hey, it's wonderful to see some people here for this very late stream on a non-standard stream night for me. It was a Saturday night for me, which is, uh, yeah, not normally a night I stream on. Uh, but it's the holidays and things have been kind of all over the place and, and other things. <laughs> Thursday's stream was uh, postponed due to emergency fridge breakage uh, and all that good stuff. But we're here despite the fact that it is real freaking late. But <laughs> the stream must go on. The stream must go on. Except for on Thursday. It couldn't go on on Thursday. Things were too, too explodey. Um, but hello everyone. Hello friends in Twitch land. Hello friends in YouTube land. It is wonderful to see you all here. Thank you for coming on out for one final stream this year 2023 this will be my last stream of the year and it is nice to be able to share it with all of you uh, also shout out to the vod watchers in the future the vod watchers of 2024 or possibly the very last day of 2023 we've still got one day left this year at least here uh, in north america so uh, but who have we got here? Who have we got here tonight? Sargon, I do believe you are certified first tonight. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sargon. Um, with the weird start time and the weird uh, day and all that stuff, I think I'm doing everyone a heckin', a heckin bamboozle. So the usual folks who are out here claiming first are, are not tonight. And Sargon is... Sargon swept it. Uh, first over on YouTube goes to Abudi. Abudi, what's up? Good to see you. Welcome. I hope you are well, Abudi. Um, Naga coming in second tonight asking, is the stream still on? <laughs> and then I, I got the stream started another 15 minutes after that or something. So, But Naga, uh, I hope you are still there. I hope you uh, did not disappear. Um, and yes, I am very late tonight. Feel free to spam the your light emote as much as you like. It is well deserved. Sargon says more like a late SMR nerd. You are right, Sargon. You are absolutely correct. Uh, this is late even by my standards. Jimmy says only the horse deck can save us all. <laughs> How are the horses not, how are the horses going to make us less late? That's what I don't understand. I mean, I guess if we were to like get onto the horseback and gallop at full tilt, maybe I could have made it to the stream sooner. That's not true at all. There's no world in which riding on a horse would get me here sooner. <laughs> uh, also, 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 Metaraptor, Metaraptor. Happy 25 month anniversary! I'm really glad that you could make it out, at least for a little bit. I know it's very late uh, for you, but uh, uh, Matter Raptor says, Happy early new year. Glad to get to kick it with this community. Sending well wishes for a rad 2024 to everyone in the tavern. That's all of you. You're all in our tavern together. And uh, Matter Raptor, thank you. For the kind wishes thank you for making this place so much better just by being here by being your awesome self by being a part of what we have uh you are a special part of this community and uh it always puts a smile on my face to to have you out to see you in the chat so hope you've had some great holidays mount raptor and a happy early new year to you as well Look who it is. Speaking of special parts of this community, people who've been around for a long time, who put a smile on my face, it is Jake Luffney, one JD Luffney in the house. Jake, how are you? It has been so flippin' long. Uh, I guess because this is a Saturday night, uh, hopefully you're not working tomorrow morning. 
I assume that's why you can make it out. Uh, JD left me with the 37 month free sub. Jake, I, I hope you've had a fantastic holiday season. Uh, I already had a chance to wish you and your family, uh, you know, the best of the season, but I, I hope your Christmas went well. I hope your, uh, in between the Christmas and New Year's is going well. And it's wonderful to see you back. It has been an age. It's been so long. Uh, Gorog, Gorog, welcome. Great to have you with us, Gorog. How are you? How are you? Uh, Jack Barstow, howdy, welcome. Look at all y'all coming out, even at this weird time, this weird day. Uh, Scourge005, hello and welcome. Goated Vic, great to see you, welcome. Zoken Fufur, hello once again, how have you been, how have you been? Crosser, what's up? Happy early new year to you too. A pleasant surprise, says Goated Vic, well I'm glad I could pleasantly surprise you on this Saturday night. The horse deck sadly did not fix the fridge. Uh, mm -hmm. Jimmy, I... Mm. What is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I thought Vagvisher had timed that sub bomb to match up with uh, the scamp appearing there, which would have been very hype, but it just so happened that Jimmy actually brought the scamp out at the same time. It's like you planned it. It's like you planned it. That's remarkable. Yo, Vanquisher, how are you doing, my friend? Happy holidays, Vanquisher. Uh, holy smokes. Holy smokes. And with that, actually, Vanquisher did uh, take uh, the top spot uh, on the gift podium there. Uh, Vanquisher. <laughs> Someone out there did not like this camp, though. Vanquisher gifting 10 incredibly kind subs to 10 amazing folks out there. Uh, to Ashi Joshi, to Queen Eileen, to Argus Rex, to uh, Renato Bros, to Linguini and Clams, to Zero Gram, to Chaos Edge, to White Wolf 4, to Tech Gadget, and to Panini Boy. Panini Boy. Uh, all ten of you. Welcome on in to the sub club, to our potato pals, to our spud buds. It is, it is wonderful to have you all on board. And a big, big, big thank you to Captain Vanquisher, uh, an incredible, amazing, extremely uh, supportive, a kind, and just generally awesome member of this community for gifting those subs, making those people's nights so that they can enjoy this stream to its fullest. To its fullest. Um, and I'm glad you can join us, Vanquisher, despite the weird time. Despite the weird time. Um, Dawn's Eternal Light. Hello. Yes, it is kind of a surprise stream. I did. I did say, and when I canceled Thursday's stream, I said I was hoping that we would be able to do it on Saturday. I wasn't positive, but here we are. So glad I could get one more in before the end of the year before the end of the year um and i'm glad you could make it to hang out with us dawn's eternal light gracie it's gracie b asmr gracie how are you thank you for being here enjoy your lurk shout out to gracie y'all know she's awesome not only a moderator here keeping chat comfy cozy and safe but also uh a ASMR creator over on YouTube. Y'all go check out Gracie B ASMR on YouTube and enjoy them tingles. Subscribe while you're there. Uh, support some awesome community members. Uh, speaking of awesome community members, oh my gosh, it's like a giant reunion. Everyone's coming back because it's the holidays. Y'all, it's the holidays. Auburn librarian. Uh, uh, it's been a billion years I know that's over dramatic it's probably been like a few months but it feels like it's been a billion years since Auburn has been here Auburn how are you we've missed you 
<laughs> She's back, baby. Oh, we missed you too. I really wanted to try and get one more in before New Year's Eve. Uh, so here we are. We're doing this. It's been a it's been a crazy holiday season over here, and uh, <laughs> I'm quite tired. But I really wanted to make this happen. I really wanted to do this. So uh, you guys uh, give me give me energy, give me strength, give me hype. Uh, mental gaming. Thank you for the two month resub. Welcome back for month number. Uh, I appreciate you coming back for a second month. I, it means you enjoyed your first month enough to come back for another. So Mental Gaming, welcome back in. Um, Auburn, by the way, 47 months. Basically eternity. Basically Auburn's been here forever, pretty much. Pretty much. Auburn, how was your Christmas? How are your holidays? I hope you've been well. I hope you've been well. Um... Tick Spring says, congrats to all the streams and stuff you did in 2023. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how many streams. I don't know how many videos. I never really tally up, uh, you know, how many in a year. But it's probably quite a few. It's, you know, probably 100-ish streams, give or take. And uh, maybe a similar amount of videos. No, probably less, maybe like 75-ish or something. But still. Uh, that's a year for sure. Uh, Tick Spring, I also hope that 2024 rocks for you as well. For you as well. Um, Don Eternal Light says, is it a late stream if it's not a regular stream? Oh, sorry. That's the, the garbage disposal for the, the landlords above us. It's quite loud here. Um, is it a regular stream if it's not a late stream? This may be the more important question, but this is an extra late stream, a super late stream. Uh, Jake says, I can make Saturday streams. Uh, it may uh, have been a hot minute since I've been here, but I've kept the sub streak on. <laughs> I appreciate it, Jake. I really do. Even when you can't make it out, it means a lot to me. Thank you. You did get on the podium, Naga. You are certified second on the podium tonight. Congratulations. Congratulations. Putty Mills, hello and welcome. Matter Raptor says, doing well. Had a six hour drive back from Arizona today, so some ASMR is just what the doctor ordered. I hope it wasn't too stressful a drive at the very least. And you got to spend some time with the fiance's fam. That's lovely. I hope you had some some good food, uh, spent with some good people, that's great. So good Foofer says, I haven't been able to catch a stream in months, months. Well, it is wonderful to see you back too, so good Foofer. At least not in a good spot. I did watch a stream during class once, uh, when you were done with your work, but it's kind of probably hard to get, commit your full attention if you're, you know, supposed to technically be learning, right? I understand. Yo, Tick Spring, congrats on that a 10 stream streak, by the way. That's pretty epic. Uh, and thank you also for the congrats for finishing Thief Gold this year. That, that's a big deal uh, because that series has been going on the YouTube channel for seven and a half years. And, uh, and we finally wrapped it up just the other day over on the YouTube channel, so... That's pretty, pretty crazy. It's an end of an era. It's a bittersweet, but we finally wrapped it. Auburn is out there chucking out gift subs. Auburn, thank you. Auburn is super kindly gifting subs to Eyelash Hippo and Jay. Welcome, Eyelash Hippo, uh, as many of you know. Uh, another amazing member of this community who has been here since the beginning of time also out there keeping the chat safe making sure y'all are well behaved and making this place 10 million times more awesome simply by being here that's science that's quantitative i empirically derived that 10 million number trust me i'm a scientist 
Auburn also gifting a sub to Norgrill. Norgrill, welcome on back into the sub club. Please do enjoy your subscriptions, Norgrill. And Eyelash, I feel like I'd be remiss if I also didn't say that Norgrill also makes it 10 million times better. It's kind of weird that I derived exactly the same number for both of them, but it's true. I, I can't, you can't argue with the numbers, right? You can't argue with the numbers. I'm going to tap on this potato out of excitement. Also, 69 viewers. Nice. At least, I think that's 69 between YouTube and Twitch, perhaps. That seems right. Um, welcome back on into that sub club, Argus Rex. Courtesy of Vanquisher. Mental Gaming, thank you again for that resub. You did not get hit in the gift bomb, but you, you went and made it, made it happen yourself anyway. Eyelash Hippo says, thank the ASMR gods you're online today. I had an emotionally draining day and low-key feel like I got my heart stomped on. Oh. But now I can relax at this year. Stream Stram, you sure can. You can come on in. You can put your feet up. You can get all comfy cozy. Get yourself a nice comfy blankie. A nice hot drink, maybe. You can chill with us. We are here to put your heart back together after it's been stomped on. A big old hug. I bet your eyelash could use a hug, y'all. It's already happened, but... <laughs> My goodness, it is a Christmas miracle that so many of y'all are out tonight. It's wonderful to see you all. Wonderful to see you all. So, Confuffer, you've been an avid VOD watcher. Hey, well, shout out to the VOD gang again. I know now that we are doing these joint multi-streams on Twitch and YouTube, quite a few people uh, have been, you know, um, joining us through the VODs in the future, in the future. So, always awesome to have the VODers joining us from the distant future. That's right, Jake, all the old mods coming out of the woodwork. All the, uh, the veterans, so many. Um, Big Plunks, what's up? Hey, it is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. I always love hanging out with y'all. And I appreciate you being here. Wait, is Butts Bot out? I haven't seen Butts Bot yet. I've been an Av Butt Butt watch. <laughs> Thank you, Butts Bot. Auburn has been here since before and Nick was even here. Yeah, since, like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like Auburn somehow knew, just anticipated that this would be a thing, that I'd be here. Deep Fried Deals, what is up? Welcome over on the YouTubes. It's good to see you there. Chat is very quiet on YouTube tonight. It's very subdued. <laughs> We've got a booty <laughs> saying yo, and that's it. Surprisingly quiet over there. Uh, but if I deal, so welcome on in. Oh, and we've got one Auburn also hanging out in the YouTube chat. Thank you, Auburn, for keeping an eye open over there as well. Your gremlin, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Please make yourself at home. Pull up a chair. Get comfy. Overwatch fanboy, what is up? Also over on the YouTube chat. I think things are slowly, slowly picking up over there. Welcome on in. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this as well. It's, I mean, A, I just like hanging out with y'all. Uh, but B, I really like playing this game, which we've actually not played on stream for a very long time. It's been, uh, I want to say, uh, maybe half a year or something. I don't remember the last time I streamed Dungeon Siege, but, uh, we were doing a playthrough. We had gotten a chunk of the way in. But, uh, yeah, maybe September or something. Four months? Five months, maybe? I don't remember. Someone could go back and look if they really want it, but... It's a fun old RPG. We'll talk about it in a little bit, and I'll explain to you what it's about, in case it's your first time seeing it, but... It's one of my favorite old PC RPGs. And where we left off last time was uh, in a very snowy... Kind of mountainous area 
and it's actually really cozy so it's it's kind of perfect for for a winter time stream Auburn says holidays were good I took all the days between Christmas and New Year's Eve off so I'm really loving my downtime that is awesome that is most excellent I'm glad you've been enjoying the downtime I'm sure you have more than earned it uh, the holidays were were okay uh, nothing like truly disastrous occurred um, my parents got quite sick with like a flu like right over Christmas and then my brother got it and his wife got it it's like all four of them were extremely like fluey over Christmas um, and so uh, we actually we, we did some stuff with Sarah's family which is also here in town like on Christmas so that was nice and then we only just uh, celebrated Christmas with like, my family like yesterday basically because uh, they they're feeling a lot better so but uh, so things were like a little all over the place and then yeah we had our fridge just die on us uh, on Thursday and that was a bit of a mess because I didn't notice right away it kind of did this weird thing where like it got like it it still is a little bit cold and the compressor runs but it doesn't keep it nearly cold enough and so the freezer had been thawing for a little while before we noticed and um and that's obviously not good we had a lot of food in the freezer uh so when i well when sarah realized actually uh it was a mad panic and I had to find places for some stuff freezer stuff and food stuff and fortunately we do have family nearby so we could take stuff over to their deep freeze and um and also uh sarah's uh parents have a like a mini like a bar fridge uh which we were able to borrow so we're living out of a tiny little fridge now uh just keeping some essentials in there for the next little bit until we can get a repair guy in to look at our fridge uh on tuesday that was the earliest we could get someone to look at it so fingers crossed that it's repairable i think it might just be the fans that circulate the air uh because it sounds like the compressor is still running although i've unplugged it now because i didn't want the compressor just running forever that's a good way to burn it out so anyway i don't know but we yeah it was a giant mess things had thawed we lost a bunch of food so that sucked <laughs> and it was just it was a mess happens that's life sometimes so uh but otherwise otherwise we're doing okay my health has been good sarah's health has been good and we did get to some some christmasy shenanigans eventually so yeah norgrill happy early new year to you too i know right now i got the gang's all here Miso requested some uh, some keyboard sounds like 10 minutes ago, which tells me I am about 10 minutes behind in the chat, as per usual. So let's let's do that now. <laughs> while I uh, while I see that and remember before I forget about it. Uh, Luminami, happy early New Year to you. Mental Gaming says, I love that even just hearing you converse with everyone is relaxing as far because of your voice. I'm glad. I try to keep things conversational but chill around here. And I'm glad that it's it's relaxing for you. <laughs> it's Chris Mon the Happy Chrysler. Be cry butt. Thank you, butt spot. Thank you. Very cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Matter Raptors has got to cook for the fam again. I made my mom's gumbo recipe. Oh, that sounds great. It's a mixed berry cobbler. That sounds delish. Can't wait for Christmas with some new cookbooks. Some more pics to come. Delightful. I need to go check check the food posting over on the Discord. I haven't recently. I bet you there's some delicious stuff from over the holidays that y'all have shared. <laughs> I 
gosh, are you telling me that you're like, you're like this potato, you get squished, but you just, pew, 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 you're back. That's a good way to be. Um, Dante Journal says, I'm really enjoying the ability to toss a few long streams into a playlist on YouTube. Just let the good ASMR vibes roll. Yeah, I guess with the, with the uh, YouTube, um, I think the, the washing machine is struggling. I can hear it dinging in the distance. Uh, with the YouTube uh, VODs, you can easily do that, can't you? Also, Majid, hello over on the YouTubes. And TNS4, welcome. I hope we can help you get some rest tonight. Hope you fall asleep. TNS4 says a few of our friends and family got the stomach flu over the holiday too. It seems to be going around. Yeah, it, it kind of hit them all a little differently, but it was like a combination like stuffed up and fever and sore throat and cough, but also like gastrointestinal distress. It sounded awful. Awful. I hope all of you have been staying healthy as possible over the holidays. But she says, I remember you passed your PhD a while ago while I was doing mine. You passed yours last month. Majid, congratulations. That is a huge accomplishment. And I don't say that just because I did it. It literally is. It, it can be quite a struggle. Um, congratulations on seeing it through. Congratulations on seeing it through. Uh, I, too, listen to ASMR because I cannot sleep well, Majid. Sometimes it's academic stress. Sometimes it's other things. But, uh, huge congratulations. That was a massive accomplishment. Uh, Sargon says, maybe YouTube chat is just experiencing the mood of the year. I always feel like between Christmas and New Year's, the world seems sleepy. It really does, yeah. I've, uh, I had to work this week. Like, I got Christmas and Boxing Day off, but then worked the remaining three days. And fortunately, I could work from home. But I would log in to, like, our team's chat and, like, check the email. Not a single email has gone out since before Christmas. <laughs> Not a one. <laughs> Nobody on the team's chat. Zero. It's very quiet. It does feel like the world is sleepy. That makes sense. Most people are off right now, and sort of that lull between Christmas and New Year's, you know. Ah, uh, Sanders has cuddled up with the doggo. Ah, get that bumper some pets for us, please. Some tea and a stream. That sounds maximally cozy. Maximally cozy. Ah, uh, Copper Hydride has requested a Pokemon card showcase. Yeah, let's do that, Copper Hydride. Well. Well, I see that before I forget it again. Um, I pulled out a stack of cards last time that I picked up at a, like a roadside antique shop. And uh, there were some kind of fun ones in there. Um, usually when I'm looking for old cards, I am looking for uh, like base set um, and jungle and fossil or basically any of the cards published by Wizards of the Coast, printed by Wizards. That's kind of, that was the era where I was really paying attention to Pokemon cards, which was 25 years ago or so. We'll say 20 to 25 years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, I got, I got some fun first printing trainer cards. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I also got a first edition mysterious fossil, a mysterious fossil, which uh, is not a rare card by any stretch. Mysterious fossil was an extremely common card from the fossil set, which was the third Pokemon card set ever published. Um, but the first edition does make it a little bit rarer, I guess. Uh, those first edition cards do tend to carry a fair bit more value, although that's more from the base set less so for subsequent sets, but I don't know, it's probably worth like 50 cents or something, but still I thought it was kind of cool to find a first edition just uh, in a random shop, you don't see them very often like that um, I also found a 
base set two Pokemon Trader. Um, trading is far fetched there. Uh, base set two was a reprint of the original base set. I can't remember exactly when it came out, to be honest, but um, it was in that sort of early era, the Wizards of the Ghost era. And that's actually a, a rare trainer card, a little star down there. But uh, that was kind of a neat find as well. Some of the base set two cards hold their value fairly well, from what I recall. So, kind of neato. But uh, yeah, those are two, two fun finds. Copper Hydride, thank you for your Pokemon card showcase request. By the way, uh, thank you for putting on the slow mode mods. I know it's uh, a little annoying uh, and frustrating to be, uh, you know, uh, slowed down there in chat, but I appreciate all y'all's patience, and we will get back up to speed soon once I get caught up on the chat. So thank you for your patience. Uh, that's a great question. Yeah, TNS4, I'm curious. Majid, what what did you do your PhD in, if I may, ex I may ask? If I may be so bold. You don't have to share if you're uncomfortable sharing, but I'm just curious. What field? Um, Dawn's Eternal Light says, Speaking of old RPGs, I just started playing Chrono Trigger for the first time. I have... I have started Chrono Trigger once or twice, never got that far into it, but everyone says it's like still an amazingly like fresh and awesome game design and still a fantastic game, so maybe one day I'll actually stick with it, maybe. Decide to figure out why everyone was talking about it. Yeah, well, what, what do you think so far, Dawn's Eternal Light? What are your impressions of Chrono Trigger? So Confuffer says, I have baked before, but never cooked. Oh, but that changed yesterday. Hey, that's awesome. Cooked soup for the family, and it did taste good. Isn't that the best? When you cook something, you're like, oh, I can actually make delicious food. <laughs> right. And especially when other people enjoy it. We, uh, we had a, a Christmas gathering with some family friends in a, like before Christmas, like a week before. And uh and Sarah and I made a lemon chicken orzo soup. Um which we've done a, a few times here but uh and we really enjoy it. But we made the you know the soup stock, the chicken stock from from scratch and all that stuff. And uh and yeah we were we got some rave reviews on that soup. Like couple of the folks there said, this is the best soup I've ever had. <laughs> I was like, don't let your partner hear that, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but thank you. It was pretty tasty soup, if I do say so myself. That's always rewarding. Um, Auburn says, oh no, that started to happen with our fridge. Uh, we have a bar fridge in our basement that helped us survive, but we ended up replacing it since it was ancient anyway. It's funny how some of those ancient fridges just keep going, though. They just go and go and go. This The frustrating thing is, our fridge is like, I think it's like three and a half years old, four years old. I don't know. We got it just before COVID. It is not. It's like four years old, probably. It is not old. <laughs> and it's not a bad make, either. It's Kenmore. Um, but, of course, it's out of its warranty period. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's basically a brand new fridge. Because there's no reason it shouldn't be working. So that's pretty frustrating. But and the irony being, it replaced a fridge that w was probably from like the 80s. I don't even know what it <laughs> originated from, but it was ancient. Uh, but still chugging along, still chugging along. And then this new, new one breaks in like a few years. Sad. Sad. Um, yes, thank you, Auburn, for throwing those breaks on. I think I'm getting caught up, though. Imagine you did yours in machine learning. Yo, that is very relevant. Very hot topic. That is really cool. Oh, no worries. Uh, I study forest fires. Yeah, so my, my degree was in uh, 
forest fire impacts, basically. Uh, natural language processing. So is that, I mean, this is betraying my ignorance, but like voice recognition type technology like, or like synthesis side of things. I, I, I'm not very familiar with such things. So. Um, Eyelash says, yes, that squishy potato is my heart, but it takes a little longer to puff up to normal. Okay, well, we're working on it. We're working on puffing it up real quick. Real quick. I know, right, Mizo? This washing machine. Speaking of appliances. Oh, my God. I need to... We have a top-loading washing machine. Hey, guys, thank you for joining me for Nick's appliance complaint stream. I'm just going to whine about all our appliances. We're Okay, first of all, we're lucky to have an in like in sweet washer dryer that's nice but um yeah it's a top loader and uh it just gets unbalanced really easily especially if it's a heavier load it's like as soon as there's like more than one towel in there it's basically guaranteed to get unbalanced uh and so it you know it's trying to do the spin cycle but it's like uh so i think i need to like mess around with the feet to try and like maybe level it better possibly but that's a pain because it's like wedged into a closet and getting it out is gonna be a real pain <laughs> uh life life it might have been covid they had auburn uh they did test like quite a bit but they it never they never uh, tested positive, but I do know that a lot of the newer strains no, and the, and the current tests don't seem to be like showing positive results very often, so like when Sarah and I had COVID back in uh, September like she was quite sick for several days but she didn't start testing positive until like day 3 or 4 so, yeah, I don't know I, they, they don't seem to think it was COVID um, so I have to sort of just take their, take their word for it there. Um, but, you know, it had similar symptoms, we'll say, <laughs> in some ways, anyway. Um, although some of them seemed more, like, the, the gastrointestinal symptoms seemed stronger in some than others, so I don't. Benjeet says, developing more efficient language models, enhancing sentiment analysis techniques. Fascinating. Cool. Well, congratulations again. That sounds like incredibly, uh, you know, useful and uh, relevant work. And, uh, and again, a massive accomplishment. I wish you all the best with your career. Uh, if you have something lined up, good on you. And if not stick with it <laughs> for me it was a bit of a struggle but uh i think i'm i'm getting there so uh all right have a good one my thank you again for hanging out with us hope we see you again sometime happy new year uh broadcast from poor farm hello uh, happy new year to you as well uh, i know it's the rare the elusive saturday night stream very late one Mage, you are not too late at all. You are early to the stream, actually. Or you are on time, we'll say. Because I I was so late getting started. So welcome. Broadcast from Four Farms says, I'm scared to log into my team's chat to check. I'm going to wait until we're officially back on Tuesday morning. Fair enough. If you're not, like, if you don't have to log in, don't freaking log in. <laughs> oh, that is awkward. Why do I have an alarm going off? Oh, I know why. Because <laughs> uh, it's not a normal stream night. <laughs> That's why. I have that alarm turned off on normal stream nights. Um, copper hydride. I'm glad you liked the cards. The cards. Uh, Kaden, hello. What's up? What's up? Jake Gardner, howdy. Uh, I'm doing great tonight. I'm, ch I'm chilling with y'all, and uh, that makes me happy. Uh, so, yeah, 
you've showed up at just the right time indeed. We're still getting rolling here. Uh, Johanna, hello. How are you doing? How are your holidays, Johanna? Um, Dawn's Eternal Light says, I'm not too far in Chrono Trigger yet, but it is scratching that need for a good JRPG really well so far. Fits the feeling of those really well. I do enjoy the classic JRPGs. Hey, y'all, okay. Do any of you remember, I want to say like maybe three years ago or so, uh, Square Enix announced a Dragon Quest three remake? They were going to do like a HD, like a 2D, 3D pixel remaster of Dragon Quest three, like, uh, like in the style of kind of an Octopath Traveler aesthetic. That happened, right? I'm not just imagining that. Because I don't think they've said anything about it since then. And it's been like, yeah, maybe three or four years. That is That remaster is MIA. A remake, I guess, is more like what it would be. It would be a full remake. But I really want that remake. I freaking love Dragon Warrior 3 slash Dragon Quest 3. Um, and I would love that. That remake. Uh, they really do not make the appliances like they used to. Eyelash. I used to think that was just something my parents said, but no, it seems to be true, unfortunately. So Confucius says, I'm obviously here to make you feel old. Within a couple hours, I can say that next year I turn 18. Hey, your channel was created when I was six. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, yep, full, full humans have, have developed in the time that I have had this channel. That's unreal. What even is time? Bazooka Fofer, I think it's really cool that you're here with us, hanging out. Thanks for chilling with us, uh, fogies. <laughs> I know there's some other younger folks that hang out with us too, so I don't want to speak for everyone. Thanks for hanging out with this fogey, I will say. Mr. Sky, happy early new year to you, and welcome, and welcome. It really does feel that way, Mizo. They just make things to be replaced, planned obsolescence and all that. I don't like to get conspiratorial about it, but man, some of these, these things just kind of suck. Should be extremely illegal. We do not have the, the resources to, to waste like that. We cannot be that wasteful as a as a species, as a society. Uh, which is why I get very happy to hear about, you know, uh, advancements in right to repair and things like that. The EU tends to really uh, spearhead a lot of those initiatives about, like, you know, standardizing things across a lot of technologies, requiring now, uh, you know, smartphones to have user replaceable batteries, these sorts of things. That's awesome. We need, we need more of that. Uh, for sure. Eyelash says, I had a front loader and I hated that thing because apparently they don't handle dog hair as well as top loaders do, always clogging and making me want to bite it. Yeah, Sarah's parents had, or maybe still have, a front loader that they also really don't like. Karate chopped the washing machine. Uh, Naga, no. <laughs> I mean... We throw a bunch of towels in. Usually they struggle. What I'll often do is I will usually, if it's like, if it gets really stuck and it refuses to not be wobbly, I will take out half the towels wet, <laughs> put them into like a laundry basket wet, or run a spin cycle with what is left in there. Usually it'll finish, and then I will run a second spin cycle with the other half. One is a little bit of a overstatement, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gracie, Gracie, thank you for the resub. Uh, Gracie, welcome back, month number 15. Gracie says, I do love these spinning potatoes. Real time spin potato simulation. Uh, Gracie, thank you so much for supporting so amazingly uh, in this community for a long time now, uh, not just through, uh, you know, being a mod 
out here, but also through your, your kind subscription and just generally being rad, being awesome, being uh, a part of all this. Um, so thank you. And happy 15 months of anniversary, Gracie. Um, welcome back on in. That's definitely worth a tater tap. Uh, TNS4 says with your fridge, you should check underneath and vacuum out all the dust and hair from the condensing coil. A fan cools the coil, and if it's plugged up, it can efficiently remove the it can't efficiently remove the heat, causing the box to warm up. Okay, I did I did look under there to see if there was like a whole bunch of dust bodies or anything. There wasn't, but maybe I need to be more serious. Maybe it's been like sucked up under somehow. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Thank you for the tip, TNS4. They pull air from the floor and suck up a lot of dust this way. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I should check that. Um, me Dare Cordons, is that correct? Am I pronouncing that right? It says, first time seeing you live, what's up? It's 8 a.m. for you. Well, happy last day of 2023. Uh, it is uh, 11 p.m. for me here. 11 p.m. in the Pacific Standard Time. Um, but welcome, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you with us. Um, Ruby, hey, hello, welcome on in. Please join us. Get comfy, get cozy, come chill with us. Macadamia nut, also good evening to you. Good night. Um, Sanders says, I got Elton Ring on sale today and I'm resisting the urge to play more. You need to relax. See, it's not good to have that blood pressure elevated for so long. <laughs> well, we can help you chill here for sure. For sure. I would say Elden Ring is pretty fun right from the start, Draft Dodger. Yeah. Maddo Raptor says, We got uh, Dragon Quest Treasures and Dragon Quest Monsters 3. I have not played either of those, but I really should because I bet you I would love them. I'm not familiar with Dragon Quest Treasures actually, but I do know that Dragon Quest Monsters 3 uh, definitely hits that, that nostalgia itch for uh, Dragon Quest fans. Uh, I have it on good authority. I should check those out. So you have the trailers for both. That's rad. I should go watch your trailers is what I should do. But not 3, as far as you know. Not Dragon Quest 3. Eyelash says that's not even a conspiracy theory. They literally do that. Well, they shouldn't be allowed to. <laughs> that is BS. We need to be better about, like, policing these things. Needs to be better. I don't know. Regulatory oversight. I don't know. I ain't no politician man, but boy, oh boy. Straight up, Mizo. Straight up. Auburn says top loaders are best. Clearer garments, hardier machines, in my experience. Except for the part where they do this and they get super unbalanced. But yes, generally, I, I also favor the top loaders. Yeah, good fridge advice. That was, uh, that was TNS4 over on YouTube. Mr. Sky, only a couple more hours for you until next year. That's going to be so weird. If I stream for a little bit longer, we're going to have some people who are already in 2024. Is that true? What time is it in New Zealand right now? Let's find out. Oh, it's like 8 o'clock-ish p.m. on December the 31st. So if I stream for another four hours... It'll be 2024 in New Zealand. Does New Zealand have multiple time zones or are y'all one time zone? I don't even know. I do not know. I apologize for my ignorance. Yo, what's up, friend of a friend? Friend of eight, a friend. Happy early New Year to you as well. <laughs> Happy. Happy New Year, butts by you crazy animal. Freedom! The slow mode has been disabled. Auburn has let you all free. Your shackles have been removed. 
fly, fly to the corners of the earth, shout, just behave well still. That's, that's all I ask. I'll lash out there making a beautiful spinning potato pyramid. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. New Zealand is a single time zone. Okay, good to know. It's kind of nice if you're traveling within your country. You don't have to deal with more than one time zone. Um, all right. I have just hit the bottom of chat. So I am going to take this opportunity to check channel points redemptions here. Uh, oh, Auburn requested a blood sugar check. Thank you for that, Auburn. I have not yet checked my blood sugar. So therefore, I had better do that. And it's 6-9. Nice. Nice. Um, but that's good. That's a fine place for it to be. Thank you for that check, Auburn. And now I'm going to go get my beer, uh, which is mostly room temperature. It's still in our broken fridge, but the broken fridge was retaining some cold because that compressor was still going. It just wasn't very cold. So it's like a little bit cold, but also I unplugged it earlier today. So it might just be room temperature by now. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it's still like slightly chilled. I could probably have just left it outside. It would have been a lot colder. Although it's not been that cold around here this winter. It's been a very mild winter here for us. Um, and then I'm also going to go see if I can rebalance the load in the washing machine while I'm at it. So I'll be a minute or two. Talk amongst yourselves. Just be what behave yourselves. Be excellent. And I will be back shortly. Shortly. I will be right back. Mr. Sky, I haven't sent the cards yet. So if you're all waiting on your holiday cards yet, they haven't gone out yet. I've finished quite a few of them. I still have a few left to finish. I'm hoping to drop them in the mail before the end of the year. Can I do that? Will I get them in the mail tomorrow? I hope so. I hope so. I will try. So, all of you waiting on holiday cards. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> they're going to be like early to mid-January cards instead. It's a fun design, though. I think you're going to freaking love them. It's the thought that counts, right? It's the thought that counts. But, anyway. I'll, I'll let you know once I've once I've sent them. But, I'm, we'll see if I can get them sent out tomorrow. That'd be really good. Um unacceptable unacceptable all right um and Loudon, i will have a couple extras so yeah if you want if you want to shoot me an email to dsmornergmail.com i still have not mailed them and there are a few extras i don't want to open it up like too wide though i feel like if i i really don't have many extras left so i feel like if i start taking extra requests then then i have to open it up to everyone again. I don't know, but, um, send me an email. Uh, I will be right back. I see there's preemptive fire. Oh, that's eyelash saying no fire. No fire. Okay, I will be right back. I'll be right back.
I see the chat is on fire. I also tried to fix the situation with the washing machine, and I do not think that it did what it needed to do. We'll see. I just kind of... I don't know. What do you do, right? You pick things up. You try and like rebalance it. Try to distribute the load evenly. But uh, I think I'll probably have to do the old trick to pull pull some out. I think it's just we overloaded it a little bit. It's got a big drum. Like it can take a lot of clothes, but but then it gets unbalanced. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh. Christian, what's up? Christian, good to see you. Welcome on in. Uh, Louis, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. I don't know if you're watching right now, but if you are, thank you, thank you. I mean, thank you regardless, but... And Stipple, 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 Stipple. Thank you for your resub on Twitch with that 14-month resub. Eight. Stipple. A uh, happy 14 month anniversary. I hope you've had a great holiday season. Welcome. Welcome to this late night, Saturday night stream. Uh, yo, we got Christian in this the Twitch chat and the YouTube chat. Christian, welcome to both places. <laughs> no ice, just like my fridge. Wow, thanks for rubbing it in TNS for. <laughs> Uh, TNS4 says, are you enjoying your analog pocket? Can we get some brain melting button sounds from it? Uh, it's in the bedroom. It's beside, I keep it next to the bed because I often play uh, like Pokemon or something before bed. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like that thing. It's a really well-made little device. It's an excellent, excellent emulation machine, if you want to call it that. Uh, and uh, I think it's really fun for people who have a fondness for those particular games and that particular form factor. I saw that Analog put out a bunch of colored ones recently to emulate, you know, the uh, Game Boy Color lineup. That's pretty fun. I just have the black one, but Slad Blue Demon <laughs> out there in the YouTube chat lighting it on fire. We almost got away without any flames in the YouTube chat, but it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Natsu Eli, what's up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Finster, hey, I missed you. Hello and welcome. Welcome on in. How are you this night? Naga says it's great. It's been great to be on vacation. I've got the cousins here again. Nice. Nice to hang out with the fam. Sargon in the Twitch chat desperately trying to keep the fire under control. Keep those flames managed. Don's Eternal Light says our dryer used to physically rumble and shake when we overloaded it. Yeah, it sounded like something was getting ready to blow up. It reminds, that makes me think of those. Uh, have you ever seen that video where a guy's got like a dryer running with the door open? He's got it rigged up to do that. And he like throws a brick in. And then the dryer was like, oh no, oh no. And someone had like, like drawn a face on it. I don't know. This is like old internet. This is like ancient. It's just, I remember it. <laughs> it made me think of that. Yeah, uh, our, our washing machine also sounds pretty scary when it gets unbalanced. Our dryer doesn't have that issue though. Uh, Sirena, hello, hello. Oh, welcome. It's a mighty fine line of dancing dinos you got there. Uh, Christian says, Nick needs to make another analog pocket made. I do. Uh, Isrigan, member of our community, Isrigan, was <laughs> pointing out on Discord uh, the other week that in my last Pokemon yellow video with the analog pocket, which was eight months ago, I said I was going to try and do those videos more regularly like maybe every month or other month or something <laughs> and here it's been like eight or nine months terrible terrible oh, if only if only i could do it all if 
only I can do it all. But yeah, I think we are due for another analog pocket video. That is that much is clear. Uh, it does have some pretty nice, nice button sounds. So yes, so yes. Yo, what's up, Thorek? Yes, you arrived just in time for the beer. Absolutely, we're at the one hour mark. This is a good time to be to be showing up and a good time to be doing the beer pour. So, uh, yo, what's up? It's Hud Jack over on the YouTube chat. Hud Jack says, I know it's going to be a long one when I just get here at 2:30 a.m. and Nick hasn't started playing. Well, I started super late. I didn't start till like yeah, like a, an hour ago. So, in relative terms, I'm on schedule. In absolute terms, it's bad bad news, but. Amber Pavidis, thank you for subscribing. Not sure if you were watching, but uh, thank you regardless. Uh, always lost on nothing else. Says, good morning, sir. I enjoy the wandering in Skyrim videos. Well, thank you for enjoying and <laughs> watching the wandering in Skyrim videos. I'm glad you do. And I would like to do more of those other than just the holiday ones. I would really like to remod my Skyrim. I've been getting that itch again lately. The Skyrim modding itch. I know it's not a great time because they just patched it and everything's like up in the air or whatever, but I kind of want to go for it. Yo, Christian, what is up? What is up with the nine month resub? Christian, it's baby potato time. It's baby potato time of what would you like to name your beautiful baby tater? I hope you've been thinking about this. Congrats on nine months. Um, I have not played the Retroid Pocket Flip, a uh, friend of a friend. Is that another handheld? Like a emulation handheld? Auburn says, when I was growing up, our dryer used to, like, walk across the basement when it got out of bounds. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. It's like, I'm coming for you. Do, 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 do. Utterly terrifying. Dawn's Eternal Light says, I got a Miu Mini Plus recently. Yes, I have I've seen those things. I've not used one, but... And you learned your lesson very quickly that you could not trust the SD card that came on it. You had to reinstall just about everything from scratch. It was quite the learning experience. That does sound unfortunate, but was the card itself just bad? Like the hardware? Or was it just buggy somehow? Uh, yo, what's up? It's James Morton, aka Chronic. James, good to see you. How you doing? How your holidays been? Heck yeah, nerd stream. Saturday night nerd stream. Abuero says, I can't hear you get closer to the mic. Uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty close to the mic. If I was any closer, I'd be ar eating the mic. But I am speaking quietly. This is an ASMR channel. And I'm, I'm intentionally quiet. So, but uh, I, I recommend you try. If you can, turn up your volume a little bit. Hijack says, I love light streams. so such a vibe. Things get a little crazy here after dark. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the scam's just always yeah. here. That's not especially crazy. Nine months between videos, this summer. The tappers are unsurprised. Okay, okay, okay. It was never nine months between videos for the tappers. I don't think. I don't think I ever had a nine month break. I probably had like five months, but I don't think I ever had a nine month break. Also, I finished the game. I don't know if you saw Auburn, but we, we done Thief Gold complete uh, just the other night. I put that up, so I'm feeling I'm feeling good in Tafferland right now. <laughs> Stipple asks, have you tried those super gimmicky razor and zoo glasses? I bought some for cheap on Lark. Audio is extremely mediocre except for a the ASMR sounds amazing. I haven't. What what do they do? Are they like gamer glasses? They're like blue light filtering or something? Because I have not, I have not tried them or seen them. Christian says, we appreciate you. Yeah, killed it this year as always. Yo, Christian, thank you. Thank you. I try. <laughs> I do try. So 
sometimes it's it's easier than others but I always always love doing this as much as I can uh, Matter Raptor says alright I keep dozing off I should get some rest for the late night tomorrow that's right gonna be out partying Matter Raptor got plans happy new year Matter Raptor a good night to you sleep well thanks for joining us and we will see you in 2024 have a uh, safe and happy new years uh, Matter Raptor and uh, we'll see you next Sleep well. Sleep well. Luminami says, I wish Bethesda would leave Skyrim alone and stop updating it. Yeah, I think that's generally people's feeling on the matter, for sure. For sure. That's terrifying. <laughs> you got a monster. That, that's the kind of thing that would absolutely be like ultra terrifying as a child. Just dreams of of the dryer chasing you. Crosser says, I can highly recommend the Novus Skyrim mod list to you. It's one of the best ones I've seen. It installs it all for you. Is that Wabajack list? I did use Wabajack for a, a Skyrim VR mod list and I was actually quite impressed with it. Quite impressed. Like the mod list was fine, but the Wabajack experience was, was shockingly good. Joe Mama, Happy New Year's Eve to you too. Happy New Year's Eve. Hey yo, it's Bakery Guy. What's up? What's up? Bakery Guy says, so happy to catch a stream before the end of the year. I'm glad you could make it before the end of the year. I really wanted to make sure that uh, that we got another one in here before, before the year rolled. Uh, channel's been so good for me every Sunday and Thursday. I'm very grateful for your dedication and time. Ah, Bakery Guy, thank you. And thank you for being rad. Thank you for, for making this place even more awesome by chilling with us. Uh, for your enthusiasm, your kindness, and uh, and for being a part of it all. I'm glad it's been a, a help. And I'm glad that uh, that you've you know, been, able to, been able to chill with us. Especially again, you know, as of late. Uh, a friend of a friend says Retroid Flip is a handheld that supports up to some GameCube and PS2 ROMs. Cool. That sounds pretty rad. There are so many, like, actually fairly competent, like, uh, emulation handhelds, like retro gaming handhelds these days. It's a good time, good time to be into that stuff. Maybe I should start checking some out. What if I did some, like, reviews or unboxings of that stuff? guys be interested in that <laughs> not that I really have the time but it'd be fun to check some out oh my gosh I didn't realize the chat wasn't scrolling for me hey it's the Rick Grimes Rick it's so good to see you Rick Grimes says hey Nick I hope 2024 is a wonderful and kind year to you I hope you had a Merry Christmas I'm looking forward to all the new games and adventures we'll get up to next year much love yo Rick thank you for the kindness the kind words uh, and just your enthusiasm as well uh, I hope you also have a wonderful 2024 and I'm looking forward to uh, checking out what the year brings with y'all whatever uh, games and adventures we may get up to uh, so happy holidays and happy new year Rick. chronic <laughs> James is over in the YouTube chat but Chronic is over here in the Twitch chat. Alter Egoed. Uh, Chronic out there with the five gift subs. Chronic, thank you. Thank you for five very kind gift subs to five deserving folks here out there making dreams come true, Chronic. Uh, making the evenings or days of these folks. Lionheart1977. Tokyo Electric. Destructocon. Half Blank and Dagger 323. Absolutely. Some very deserving and awesome folks. Uh, all you five, please do enjoy those kindly gifted subscriptions from Chronic. Uh, and you probably know, but with your subscription, you get ad-free viewing, you 
get a faster channel point earning. You get access to all the emotes and all that good stuff, including the very popular, very popular spinning. Uh, Chronic, thank you for your immense support. Thank you for being rad. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for helping to grow and strengthen this community that we have here by welcoming people into the potato path so warmly. Uh, so we're going with that 10 month streak, yo. We had another 10 month streak earlier, but that's the highest I've seen yet. Congratulations, Sargon. Congrats. Oh wait, I think I just heard the washing machine finish. I think my my redistribution might have actually made it work. Because it made the made the happy finishing sound. Don't think too much hard about what that means. Uh Oh good, Auburn. I'm glad. I'm glad you saw it. I'm glad you saw that it it just it's just done end of an era. Uh, always lost on nothing else, says wandering in Skyrim and survival mode would be a tad difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a different thing, for sure. <laughs> I think we, we could do it, but it would be a very different kind of thing. TNS4 says, should we place bets on which month in 2024 will reach 100k? You're guessing March? Special 100k celebration video? There's definitely gonna be a special celebration video of some kind. I have a couple ideas. I still haven't decided what it's going to be yet. I'm, I mean, I'm not taking bets, but we'll put you down for March, and we'll we'll see how we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I can't offer you anything if you win, but uh, yeah, I've got a couple a couple ideas. Uh, but if you guys have any suggestions, something you would like to see for a hundred K celebration video, uh, let me know. Dawn's Eternal Light says the SD card died after about a month of very light play when I plugged it into my laptop to upload something new. Thankfully, I didn't lose much in the way of progression in new games. Uh, it's mostly, I've mostly been trying things out. Now everything's backed up properly and you have a more trustworthy card. Yeah, I bet you the one they shipped it with was probably just like very, you know, like a low quality thing, I guess. Bakery guy. Bakery guy. What? Bakery guy out there with a sub bomb gifted five awesome folks uh the uh magic pass the golden ticket to the sub club the potato pals the tater tots bakery guy thank you for that very very kind thoughtful generous gift uh to flynn arcade to deception to uh freelancer to Mr. Sky and to Johnny Bone and 95. Another five awesome folks, five very deserving individuals who I hope enjoy those subscription benefits. Uh, and Bakery Guy, thank you again for welcoming them in so warmly to the Spud Buds, making their stream experience that much better. Uh, Auburn says, between that and the Brave Little Toaster, I did not like appliances as a kid, especially basement ones. Yes, right, isn't there? Gosh, it's been so long since I watched the Brave Little Toaster, but now there's like, there's something scary in the basement in that film, right? You're like tickling a distant memory in my head. Is that the one also with like the really scary thing in the junkyard? I probably haven't seen that movie for 30 years. Uh, Crosser says, Nolvis actually has his own installer. Yo, that is cool. I didn't realize that. I'll have to look into it. It's pretty butt. Thank you, butt spot. Kuro, good evening. Uh, how are you, Kuro? Chronic says, been a little absent as of late. Hope all is well for nerd and chat. Yeah, yeah, things are, things are good. Spent the last few days with my folks. Hope everyone can notice and appreciate the good in their lives. That is a important message and it's always worth taking a moment stepping back taking a breather and and uh you know being uh you know grateful and mindful of the, the positive things we 
we do have in our lives. Cheers, Chronic. Hey, thank you for bringing that positivity to this community. And the same to you. Uh, wishing you a fantastic year to come, Chronic. A spectacular 2024. Naga says, don't know how this happened, but three of us are over here doing hot sauce tasting. Yo, that sounds rad. Uh, for Christmas, I got a pack of four different uh, diabolical hot sauces. I've not tried any yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, bakery guy with the keyboard sounds request. You want that GMMK out? We can definitely do that for you. Definitely, definitely. Oh, Sargon. Yeah, sorry. I meant to say 10 stream. I know it's not 10 months. Sorry, that was my miss, misspoken. Misspoken. Yes, happy finishing sound eyelash. You know, what an offering what? So, it sings a little song, okay? It's got a little ditty, all right? Oh my gosh. Yo, pool party soda, what's up? Hey, it's my pleasure. I'm glad. I'm glad that my content helped you get some Z's. Thank you for, for watching, and uh, and I hope it continues to help you. Doritos for life. What's up? Yo, always lost on nothing else. Thank you so much for the super chat. Always lost on nothing else says, I have a tip, sir. Quick question. Aside from high elf. Oh, I thought you were going to give me like a like a Skyrim tip or something like that. But no, thank you for the super chat tip. Uh, quick question aside from High Elf, which is the best race in Skyrim in your opinion? Oh, coming out with the fighting words. I think a lot of people might take might take issue with your High Elf statement. Um, my first character in Skyrim was a Nord because it was the land of the Nords and I always like to play like the character or the like the race that belongs to that region when I first played the Elder Scrolls of that region. But, um, I don't know, I really like Khajiit. <laughs> it's just, they're just fun. They're kind of neat. Khajiit are neat. The Dark Elves are also very cool. I might have to hand it to Dark Elves. Yo, what is up, CMATS? CMATS hanging out on the YouTube chat. CMATS says, hope you had a good gathering last night. Thank you. We did. It was, it was very nice. Uh, you were missed. Well, I am going to have to make that up the next time we have the opportunity. Because uh, I missed that too. Happy New Year, CMATS. CMATS says, well, uh, 2024 will be a good year. Might I suggest buying a new fridge in the new year? <laughs> well, I hope we don't have to. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get this one fixed. Because it's not an old fridge. But we shall see. We shall see. Fingers crossed. Uh, but uh, a happy new year to you too, CMATS. And uh, all the all the best. It's going to be a good one. I got some stuff lined up. Did I ever tell you guys I'm getting married next year? I'm pretty sure I've told you guys that. <laughs> I think you all know that. But uh, that's pretty exciting. Although also, although also kind of terrifying because we have... A lot of planning to do still but that's coming up <sighs> Christian says potatoes look like beans you're gonna have to go with a bean for a tribute to your bunny oh that's very cute a potato named bean there's something ironic in a wonderful way about that everyone please welcome in Christian's little baby potato bean to the chat Adorable, Christian. Adorable. Corey, where's your wedding invite? Oh, it's in the mail. Don't worry about it. Uh, we've had a lot of jokes about people crashing the wedding. <laughs> Can you imagine, though? Joey Flowers, welcome. Sutari, that's a mighty fine spending potato you got there. Mighty fine. All right. I know I have a few channel points requests that have been sitting mellowing for a bit, but I want to open this beer before it is completely room temperature. So let's do the beer opening. We're now coming up on an hour and a half into the stream. And here I thought, 
here I thought I was going to be able to be ahead of the game a little bit tonight. Jokes. Jokes. Pardon me. Okay. Uh, for tonight's beer, I wanted a, a fancy one, something that was funky and different. And uh, I happened to get this beer in my beer advent calendar in December. And I had not had it yet, but it seemed like a great celebratory New Year's-y kind of beer, sort of. I mean, it's not like a champagne beer, but it just it sounded decadent. It is Coffee and Donuts Imperial Stout from Steamworks Brewing. Steamworks is based out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, their beers range from, like, acceptable to pretty good. Uh, at least in my opinion, none of them are like absolute favorites of mine, but they have some, they have some all right stuff, but, uh, this one sounds like a heck of a beer. I do think decadent is probably the right word. Coffee and donuts, imperial stout, brewed with golden oats, coffee, coconut, and vanilla bean. This is a dessert beer, if I've ever heard of it. Um... And I'm trying to see if there's any beer lore on here. There is not. Actually, they don't specifically talk about it. But uh, if someone goes explains my beer in the chat, uh, there's a link to their website where we can read a bit about it. it says here, This double-mashed behemoth of a stout is our homage to the most important meal of the day. Donuts. <laughs> Yo, look who it is, Drake. What freaking timing, my dude. Welcome on in. Shout out to Draconis, ASM artist. I saw you were streaming tonight and I was like, I can't be there. I want to be there, but I can't be there. But we didn't have to because you came here. Uh, Draconis, ASM artist, uh, an OG in this community. Also, uh, a fantastic, fantastic dude and ASMR streamer in his own right. Um, what were you guys doing tonight? What was happening over in, uh, in Draconis land? Also, yo, who came in with that raid but one Bowman Dean? Bowman, it is great to see you too. <laughs> Double tapping. Wait, sorry. You, you announced your raid or coming in with the raid and then and then you welcomed in the Raiders. I love it. I love it. Um, Y'all, make sure you hit that follow up there. Hit that heart. Follow Dragonis ASM artist, please, and thank you. And while you're at it, follow Bowman Dean, another awesome ASMR creator, super tingly, amazing voice, fantastic triggers, uh, and uh, all around great dude. So hit that follow for Bowman here as well while you're at it. Please and thank you. Drake coming in with the 56 month subversary. You what? You what, mate? You what? Gosh, how many? I feel like that's. I don't even know how many years that is. 56 months and years. That is like four. This is creeping up on five years. This is creeping up on five years. I should have been able to do that mental math. Uh, that is unbelievable. Drake, thank you so much for gracing us with uh, your presence and the presence of uh, your awesome Raiders as well. I hope you all had a fantastic stream. A fantastic stream. Uh, who else we got coming on in with that raid? Uh, we got Gracie. Gracie, thank you also for coming on in with that raid, for double timing it here tonight as well. I appreciate it. Yeah, look who's here tonight, Drake. We got all kinds of awesome folks. All kinds of awesome folks. Stream is good. You beat Star Fox Adventures. Very rad. I've never played Star Fox Adventures, I must admit. But I'm sure that you had a fantastic time. Congrats on finishing it. Congrats. Also, Sebastian the Fox coming on in with that sub. Sebastian the Fox, I appreciate that and welcome into the sub club. Welcome, Sebastian. I was about to tap on the beer by way of celebration, which, sure, let's do that. Normally I tap on a potato. But Sebastian, thank you so much for joining us. 
for uh, kindly supporting, and I hope you enjoy your subscription benefits. Your subscription benefits. Uh, look who also arrived at around the same time. Maria Clara. Maria, how are you? Welcome on in. I hope that you have had an awesome holiday season, Maria. It's great to see you. Um, yeah, Flynn Arcade, hope you're enjoying that sub from one bakery guy. He's a pretty cool guy. Pretty cool bakery guy. Um, where are we at here? Oh, uh, beer advent calendar was from Cascadia Liquor, which is a British Columbia based uh, liquor store. Um, and they do one every year with uh, BC craft beers. And so they do a good job, but they curate it well. They curate it well. Uh, Kuro says, I'm doing fine. I was just playing some cyberpunk, but then it crashed on me. Well, I'm glad it's at least running for you, if uh, nothing else. I'm glad it is running. Uh, even if it is a bit crashy. Probably the game's way of telling you to do something else. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it can be a handy reminder. Uh, yeah, I've been here for, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, been around a little while, I guess, I guess. A minute or two. Uh, Star Fox Adventures is great, says Drake. You gotta give it a shot if you can, if you want to see what it's like. I've got VODs on YouTube. Uh, oh uh, yeah, sweet, sure. I'd like to see what it's about. Like I said, I've never played it. Feel free to shoot me linky, linky link. Beer's gonna get cracked, Christian. Don't you worry. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I got it here. I got it right here. Always lost on nothing else. Thank you, by the way. Thank you for the kind, kind wishes. The beer advent calendar is around a hundred bucks, so it's not cheap. But that is twenty-four craft beers. So, what is that? Five dollars a beer, roughly. No, four dollars. Something like that. Um, which is, I mean, it's not super cheap, but it is like a curated collection of craft brews from across the province. Some you might not try otherwise, and it's kind of a fun thing. Um, Sarah gifted it to me because she spoils me. So, <laughs> um, but uh, uh, you know, they're they're all this kind of can, like the tall boy can. It's like five hundred ish mils. Um, but yeah. I could not keep up with the beer day this year, so I've accumulated quite a few, but we'll be working through them on streams <laughs> in January. Uh, TNS4 says, my six-year-old dropped our Nintendo Switch into the toilet. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's terrible. Rip your Switch. That's awful. It's also a poopy Switch now. Well, I wish you the very best of luck. I wish you the very best of luck with that switch. Cleaning it up and then repairing it if possible. Slapwood even says, I'm not a beer guy, but I would try it out. Yeah, it's a great way to, like I said, experience some of the the regional breweries, like craft breweries that I have not otherwise had exposure to because we have so many here in BC. And, uh, you know, I consider myself like pretty well versed in the beers of this area, but nonetheless, there are new breweries springing up every year, and there's tons that I just have never had a chance to try, and I got to try them in this advent calendar, so that was really fun. Uh, Sir Edward, hello! You just got D2 resurrected? Oh my god, I freaking love D2R and D2 by extension, of course. Might not be for everyone because it is still an old game underneath, but for me it just mm, hits the spot right in the nostalgia bone. Any tips or recommendations? Um, gosh, I have to, for a noob, um, be patient with it, I would say. Like, it, it's gonna feel different than a modern Diablo game in that it's not nearly as like fluid or smashy 
uh, combat is not have the same kinetic sense. Once you've got to a certain point, like at the higher levels, things can get a bit more hectic, but it's it's less of like a, it's not like a superhero simulator in the way that D3 or D4 is for that matter. Um, but the atmosphere is unparalleled in my opinion. Crank up that music, soak it in, because it is one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. Um, and uh, you don't feel the need to rush to end a game, you know, like enjoy the atmosphere i guess that'd be my recommendation because i mean you, you do get to end game and then you can go on to nightmare difficulty and hell difficulty and then it becomes about farming for like you know godly items and that can be fun in its own right if you like that kind of thing but it doesn't have an end game in the sense that d3 or d4 does right where you have like greater rifts and stuff or whatever it doesn't have any of that so i would say just enjoy enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the vibes. If you are finding yourself getting stuck or finding things, you know, quite challenging, there's no shame in going and looking up builds and, and following a build. Um, but you only get one respec per difficulty. <laughs> so like one respec for all of normal, one respec for all of nightmare, one respec for all of hell. So, uh, do be careful, like, if you have a character that you're invested in, you know, uh, don't, don't frivolously use your one respec, I guess. It's another kind of old fashioned design element, but yeah. Goodness me. No, I'm just rambling. All right, let's, let's open this beer. So all I was going to read about it. Sorry. I was going to read about it. So this double mashed behemoth of a stout is our homage to the most important meal of the day, donuts. Literal tons of rich malts were used to create a base of toasty, biscuity, dough-like flavor. We had the bean wizards at Modus, which I guess a coffee roaster, uh, roast us a beautiful coffee to cold extract into the beer. As if that wasn't enough, we processed hundreds of vanilla beans along with a sprinkle of both toasted and untoasted coconut to round out the flavor. Toasted coconut. Toasted coconut. Grab your favorite fritter, cruller, or donut and treat yourself. It literally says treat yourself right there. Uh, brewed with many different malts. Two row golden oats, biscuit, roasted barley, roasted barley, roasted malts, and caramalts. Sure, why not? Why not? 40 IBUs, uh, 10%. <laughs> so it's it's a pretty strong, it's got a pretty strong kick to it. Uh, this is uh, an imperial stout, to be sure. Stouts are some of the, uh, some of the heaviest, fullest bodied beers. So we'll crack this open and give it a shot. Uh, I... 1000% degree sander, D2 soundtrack, goaded, absolutely goaded. Vital signs, I have not. I can't say I've heard that track, Lost in the Static. Is it a favorite of yours? Oh, Naga, I definitely do have some New Year's resolutions, but that's a whole, that's a whole thing to get into. If we start talking about that, we will never get to the game. So let's crack this open. I'm just gonna turn down the volume while I do it. Yo, what's up, Cherry? It's Cherry ASMR. How you doing? Well, come on in. Um, or wait, or is it? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Maybe I'm miss missing missing. Uh, I think I I think I am incorrect. Wait, Cherry Blossom, Jess? No, I'm confused. Is it Jess? Oh my God, it is. Jess, what the heck? It has been uh, 80 trillion years. How are you doing? Like literally years. Holy crap. I think you had a different name last time you were in the chat here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yo, how have you been? How have you been? 
Nick's brain huge. Nick's brain explode. Explode. It's so good to see you again, Jess. How's life been? Okay, I'm gonna open this beer though. Let me just. Hopefully that wasn't too dang loud. That was pretty loud. Okay, let me adjust these mics for the optimal pull. Micah Elton, thank you for the congrats on finishing Thief. I I wasn't, well, I always knew it was going to happen, but it's still kind of amazing that we're, we did it, that we're there. Monaco Locoroco says, hey Nick, happy last Saturday of 2023. Hey, thank you. Same to you. And I do hope that 2024, if I can speak, is excellent for you as well. All right, let's pour this one out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Almost disaster. We're okay. We're okay. This thing has got some serious, serious foam going on. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice, uh, like a coffee foam on top. Ooh, I can smell, I can smell the coffee. All right, let me just readjust these. Let me readjust these mics. Peachy Mango, welcome on in. How are you? How are you? Yo, look who it is. It's Creeper Cats. There's so many people that we haven't seen. Well, Creeper Cats, actually, you were in like a little while ago. But still, from the olden days, Creeper Cats, how are you? Uh, all right, friends. It is a time for a toast, uh, and we are going to toast the outgoing year. Uh, it has been a year of um, good things and less good things, of successes and challenges and life. <laughs> this is a terrible toast, but uh, we survived it, and we're going into the next one. And uh, I sincerely hope that this year brings you many wonderful things, uh, more of life, but more of the good stuff than the rough stuff. Uh, here's to the year that has been, and here's to uh, the year to come. Happy New Year, friends. All the best in the year to come. That is, that is really yummy. That is very, very smooth, quite sweet, a pleasing vanilla element, and then definitely coffee. Definitely coffee. Mixing my uppers and my downers here. <laughs> the caffeine and the alcohol. Uh, we'll see how well I sleep later. I don't know. <laughs> I 
should have thought about that, but Tucker Demo, thank you for the 500 biddies. That is so kind. I appreciate the cheer. Uh, Tucker says, hey, Nick, the ending of Thief was a bit of a tearjerker. I know, I was, it was bittersweet. Feels like forever ago I started it. It was a different, like, a different time. <laughs> it really was. A lot has happened in the last seven and a half years. But thanks for being with me on the journey, Tucker. Cheers. <laughs> well, yeah, sure, let's toast the ending of Thief Gold on the channel as well. And the beginning of whatever Thief I'm going to do next year. Cheers to that. Um, yo, MKF, cheers to you. Have I tried coffee with alcohol in it? I guess this is more alcohol with coffee in it. Have I ever had one of those hard coffees, like a B-52 or something? I guess not. I don't know if I ever have. I've had, like, Bailey's in a coffee, so I guess I've had coffee liqueur before. Or liqueur in coffee, I should say. Charles Rank, cheers. Thank you. Thomas Nodding says, hi from Sweden. Tuned into your stream a couple of weeks ago. I've been watching your channel every week since. Hey, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy it, and it's really nice that you're joining us here now. Cheers, Thomas. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, I'm just scrolling back here because I think Jess said, said something. It has been literally years and you've been great. I'm glad you've been great. I hope you are thriving. It is great to see you back, Jess. Things haven't changed too much here. I still talk too much. Don't play the game enough. We still have a beer. It's pretty chill. It's pretty chill, honestly. Ah, uh, peachy mango, yes, you may, in fact, see the can. It's a fun one. Bright pink, and, uh, this, like, Zeppelin dog. I don't think we talked enough about how incredible this art is, actually. Check it out, though. Zeppelin dog. I don't know what it has to do with coffee and donuts, but I love it. That's some great A art. <sighs> you know, Drake, I do occasionally try to try to pay attention to what comes out of my mouth. Occasionally. You missed a good one earlier though. You would have been all over it. Glad you all enjoyed that crispy boy. Chuba Fett, welcome on in. Congrats on 10 stream streak. 10 stream streak. Uh, thank you for all the cheers, y'all. Uh, Peachy Mango, I'm glad you are doing well. Ufer Boy, good to see you. Good to see you. Drake says, Jenny and I call Bailey's and coffee camping coffee because it's our morning beverage of choice when we go camping. Yo, that is elevating the camping experience. I should definitely try that next time. That sounds delightful. Delightful. That's exactly it, Auburn. This is not that far off room temp, but as a stout, it actually works fairly well. It's like slightly chilled. I would not want a lager at this temperature. <laughs> Yes, there is plenty of talking and plenty of beer involved, so we're good. We're good. This has such a smooth mouthfeel. This is like, it is a very decadent beer. Delightful, though. Peach mango, I'm glad you like the can. It's pretty fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's a quote. There it is. Auburn was on it, Drake, so that you didn't have to be. Grapple, welcome on in. You are about an hour and 50 minutes late, but that's okay. That's okay. We're having a casual one here tonight, as usual. As usual. Oh, you already saw it, Drake. You were here. You knew you were lurking. Uh, MKF says, I have a friend who used to drink Red Bulls with alcohol. Yeah, that was uh, like a Jager bomb. That was very popular back in like my university, my undergrad days. Jager bombs were a thing. I don't know do people still drink Jager bombs. It's like a drop shot of Jagermeister into Red Bull. 
not good for you. <laughs> Very much not. Uh, Bradshaw, Sister Rose, hello. I'm doing great. Thank you. Just great. And I hope you are too. Hey, well, thank you for the kind words. And thank you for tuning in to hang out with us tonight. Monaco says, I'm part of the costume department for Superman Legacy. What? What? James Gunn is going to bring something special. That is the coolest. What do you do in the costume department, if I may ask? Like, what what does your daily role involve? That's right, Albert. Someone's always got to be making sure that every single stupid thing that comes out of my mouth is recorded for posterity. I understand. Um, all right, gang. Uh, I have some channel points requests here that I have been sort of ignoring a little bit. Uh, so let's let's get to them, and then we'll get to the game. Uh, we've got... Yeah, let's bring the game back up just so that we don't forget that, yes, I am, in fact, planning on playing a game tonight. A whispered science fact for Freaky. For Freaky. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, I'm pretty sure I bookmarked some science facts last time because I found some good ones. Where did I put those? There we go. 71 science facts that will blow your mind. Um, from the BBC, and we suspect, I suspect they know what they're talking about. Um, okay. Here's an interesting one that I did not know. Apparently identical twins do not have the same fingerprints. Uh, so you can't your crimes on your identical twin. <laughs> this is because environmental factors during development in the womb, such as umbilical cord length, position in the womb, and the rate of finger growth all impact your fingerprint. I would never have guessed that so many factors impacted the fingerprint. But there you go. Ident identical twins cannot, cannot commit the perfect crime by having identical fingerprints. That's news to me. But that's kind of neato. That's kind of neato. Bakery guy with the keyboard sounds request. 37 minutes ago, bakery guy. Thank you for your patience. Bakery guy has been very patiently waiting on a particular keyboard. Oops. Uh, which is this one right here. This one right here. The old JMK2 with the lubed glorious Lynx switches and the uh, GPBT Celestial Ice keycaps. Sander says, two months sober, but definitely miss a good stint. Sander, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Good job sticking with it. And I hope that we're not making things more difficult for you here. Yeah, that is kind of a cool fact, isn't it, Serena? Today I learned. Uh, bakery guy also with the blood sugar check. Uh, I appreciate that too. It was doing all right before, but let's just make sure it's still doing all right. 5.3 and fairly stable. That's good by my, by my, uh, metrics so thank you for helping me keep an eye on my blood sugar it is isn't it Kuro? it's a lovely one I should put this on my desk for a little while and use it again it's been a little bit but i love the gradient it's real pretty it's a pretty one and zutari with the name writing request zutari you betcha uh zutari would you prefer a ballpoint pen, a pencil, or a felt-tipped pen for your name writing. They all have different sounds, right? Um, let me know, please, and we will do what you request. Auburn, you've been enjoying the new fight. You got the... Did you get the Air 96? Or am I just imagining that? I think, I thought that's what it was, right? Yeah, Nufi makes some really good stuff. Zutari wants a pencil, okay. 
All right. A pencil. An effing pencil. Which is my very, very terrible John Wick reference. I do not have the accent down, that's for sure. All right. Okay. All right, okay. Absolutely, Sander. Absolutely. Big admiration for you, for sure. That is... That is a huge accomplishment. And, uh... I hope you, you keep it up. Like I said, I hope this is not making it more difficult. Okay. Uh, so I've got here a pencil. Yeah, you might recognize it if you've watched the Skyrim Maps videos on my YouTube channel. This is the famed pencil that I use for tracing around on those maps. It's a fun one. It makes nice sounds. It is the R96 Auburn. How do you find the low profile switches on the R96? Alright, um, this is Atari. Let's do this name trace for you. Got my very kawaii notepad here. I still don't have a clipboard, which is what I actually need for doing these name traces. But anyway, instead we're just going to have a slightly scuffed name trace for you. We're going to set Zutari. Now I'm going to try it in cursive. It might be hard for you to see it because the pencil is a very hard pencil, so it doesn't write very strong, but there you go. There you go. Okay, let's try it in cursive. Gosh, what does a cursive Z look like? I don't even remember. I'm just going to make something up. Uh, uh, <laughs> there. That's not a cursive Z, but it looks like it could be. A cursive capital Z is not something that you do very often, but that looks okay, right? You can read that, right? Like a two, kind of. Okay, now I need to look this up. It's been so long since I've written a cursive Z. I remember it being a weird one. Oh yeah, right, it's like, so it's like, technically, it's supposed to look like, it's like, uh, right? It's kind of like that. What a weird way to do a Z. Very strange. Very strange. All right, Zatari. Do one more here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spell it backwards. We're gonna go I R A T U Z Eratus Eratus. Uh, there's a member of this community whose name is Otirub. Otirub. I literally only realized the other day that that name is Burrito backwards. So Otirub, if you're watching. I cracked your code, Mr. Backwards Burrito. It took me way too long to notice that. All right, gang. All right. It is time to play a game. And that game is Dungeon Siege. Dungeon Siege. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, I'm going to quickly catch up on YouTube chat here. Uh, because, uh, Bradshaw says, I also hope everyone's having a good start to the new year. Uh, I mean, I guess we're not quite there yet for some of the, pardon me, some of the, uh, New Zealanders here, but soon. But I guess it's a good start to New Year's Eve for many. Uh, 
Bradshaw says, I'm starting my annual tradition of watching Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's a very good one. That's a very good one. And finish the others tomorrow. So when you say finish the others, which ones do those include? Is it the original trilogy? Or do we include the new ones? That is a fun tradition for sure. Monaco was telling us about uh, working in the costume department. It says, we help construct the costumes by sourcing the fabric and having specialty screen printing. The costumes and characters in this new era of DC are amazing. That sounds incredible. That sounds like such a freaking cool job, but I bet you there's a lot of pressure as well. But, uh, you know, that's, that's rad. I would be fascinated to hear more. That sounds like a fascinating job. Oh no, I did Curse of L. Oh, you're saying my original one looks like a Curse of L. Kind of. Yeah, you're, I guess a Curse of L is like... Isn't like... Like that, kind of. Uh, there. Is that Curse of L? I don't remember. I don't remember. All right. Yeah, you're liking that Air 96 Auburn? Excellent. No death threats from the cubicles nearby. It is a quiet one, for sure. Well, I have the R75, but it's it's quite quiet. Sandra, you don't know why you didn't play this one. Um, he was... Okay, so Dungeon Siege, friends. Dungeon Siege. This game came out way back in 2002. April 2002, if memory serves. And... Um, I first played it on a demo disc for PC Gamer Magazine, which I subscribed to at the time. Freaking love my old PC gamers. Um, and uh, they always ship these CDs with awesome game demos on them. And the demo for Dungeon Siege was so, so long. Like, it was really substantial. Um, and I fell in love with the game on that demo disc. But I had heard about it before that because PC Gamer, again, had done, like, a feature article on it. But basically, basically, it's like one of those classic isometric RPGs of that area, like, of that era, sorry, like a Baldur's Gate 2, in a sense, in that you have a party of adventurers that you play with, but it's more action RPG-like in its combat, kind of like a Diablo game. And so it kind of melded that party-based combat of like a CRPG with the action RPG style uh, loot fest of a Diablo game. And it did it in a fully 3D environment that was totally seamless. No loading screens once you load the game initially. Not a single loading screen from start to finish, which is amazing at the time. Um, and it was also really beautiful for 2002. It was absolutely gorgeous. And it made my young mind, like my imagination, run wild, like uh, like nothing else. Also, what a nice rainy, rainy uh, uh, main menu we have here. Thank you, Sargon, for the downpour. Um, but uh, anyway, so uh, basically, it's set up kind of like a fantasy adventure road trip, like. It's pretty linear, and you sort of start in one place, yeah. and you just kind of go. Yeah. But unlike modern yeah. games, where you have scamps. Actually, that's not true, scamps. That scamp is from Morrowind, also from 2002. Yeah. Thank you, Drake. Thank you. Unlike modern games, where you often have, like, a town portal or, like, a waypoint kind of system, so you're always coming back to the same, you know, kind of hub, Dungeon Siege is, like... It's like a road trip in that you kind of start from somewhere and you just kind of go and you're always moving ahead. And in between like cities and towns, it feels like real wilderness because you can't go back easily. So you kind of just have to keep pushing forward and hoping that you can make it to the next settlement. And it gives this feeling of being like out in the wild more than any other game I've played, I think which is something really unique that I value about it. Anyway, it was developed by a company called Gas Powered Games back in the day. They made a sequel, which was very well received, Dungeons Age 2. 
And then many years later, Square Enix got the rights, and Obsidian made a sequel uh, called Dungeons Siege 3, which was a lot less well-received. It also received a, a PSP game uh, somewhere in the mid-2000s. So, it's a beautiful bunger, by the way. Anyway, the point being that this game was really... Uh, special to me back in the day uh it really just sparked my imagination even though it's quite simple in its combat and character development the story is almost non-existent <laughs> it's very straightforward but the world of the game really uh sparked my imagination uh bradshaw talking about the new year's eve uh Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones Tradition, says, I include all. I haven't actually seen the Dial of Destiny yet, but I actually semi-enjoy Crystal Skull. Well then, I think you'll probably have a good time with Dial of Destiny. I thought Dial of Destiny was actually pretty good. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Zutari, well, the scamp arrived, whether you wanted it to or not. Uh, Zerdubs says the starting screen looks way too familiar. I used to watch my dad play this. Yes, dad gaming all the way. Dad gaming all the way. Tickspring says, wait, you haven't started playing tonight yet? <laughs> nope, just about to start. I just got done with a round of Age of Empires 2, some Baldur's Gate 3 fights and exploration, and some other stuff since you first said. <laughs> what can I say? I talk a lot. What can I say? Auburn says, yay, I made it to the game. I'm not quite going to go full lurk mode yet, but it's 3.20 over on this side of Turtle Island, so I might be slightly less chatty. Yes, fair enough. If I drift off before I get a chance to say it, happiest of New Year's to you all. I know I said it, but dang, I missed y'all. Petition for Nick to Saturday stream more? I mean, in some ways, it would be... It would feel sacrilegious to stream on Saturdays rather than Sundays, but in other ways, it would actually be kind of convenient for me. So it's possible that change might be afoot in the new year. We will see. We will see. I've streamed on Sundays for like over five years now, but that doesn't mean things can't change. Happy New Year, Auburn. Really wonderful to see you again. I'm so glad you can make it out for a bit, and I hope you have a very nice sleep, a very nice sleep, and a very happy new year. But enjoy your lurk. And if you drift off, uh, we will see you in 2024. Zeradeps, you just looked around for the scamp sound in your room. What did you think was in your room? Uh, Take Spring, I played the PSP version uh, by emulator sometime later sometime after. I never finished it. It was very simple, but I kind of do want to go back and try it again. Yes, Psycho came out. This did get a movie. There was a Dungeon Siege movie made by Uwe Boll. It is hot garbage, but I actually kind of have a soft spot for it. It was riding that wave of like early 2000s high fantasy that Lord of the Rings kind of um, you know, precipitated, and, uh, it was so bad, but it was filmed around here, around this part of, uh, the world, and it had some big names, it had Jason Statham, it had John Rhys Davies, I think it had Burt Reynolds, it had, uh, oh, who else, some, like, surprisingly big names in it. And so for that reason, it is super fun watching those guys ham it up. Because it is so bad. Just so bad. Drake says, I petitioned for Nick to stream on Saturdays in addition to Thursday and Sunday. I would love to, but I can't. I would love to. I really would. All right. Uh, let's 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 play this game, you guys. So, 
uh, I have streamed this previously. We are kind of at the third major, or I guess the second major city, which is actually not that major. It's like a tiny little town, but, uh, you know, given that there's a whole lot of wilderness, any city is kind of impressive. But it's a city called Glacern, and it's up in the mountains. It's a very picturesque and cozy kind of setting, so that's where we will start from today. Okay, and now I have to, uh, I'm gonna have to, one moment, friends. Allow me to resize uh, the screen here, because the resolution changes when you enter the game. Classic. There we are. So here is Dungeon Siege, and here's our adventuring party. Um, I guess it's just kind of a slushy day here in Glacern because it is both raining and snowing at the same time. Um, but this is, this is our adventuring party. Uh, you can see, uh, if, if you were here the last time I played this, you might remember some of these characters, but the thing about this is because it's so few and far, like the cities that you get to are so few and far between. The vendors are very few and far between. So you carry so much loot in this game. You carry so much crap at all times. And then when you get to a, a settlement, finally, it's like you have so much stuff to sell and you also have so much stuff to buy. So like gearing up when you get to a new settlement in this game is like a major undertaking. So the last time we played, we got to this town of Glacern, but I had an inventory full of crap. So I spent some time, uh, just on my own time, selling all of our equipment that we didn't need, upgrading the items on our crew here, and buying some new stuff from the blacksmith here in town. So we now have a pretty frickin' uh, kitted out crew here. This is our lead dude here. His name is Strong McJohn. Strong McJohn. And he is a... A warrior. Uh, so he's all about that melee combat. And uh, you can see he's got some pretty sweet new duds. He's got this uh, padded Hassat armor, which has this like zebra print thing going on. He's got this freaking rad club that he's just gonna beat fools with. Uh, he is our strongest character because he is the character that I started the game with. You start with just one character and then you slowly gain a party. Uh, in our second rank slot here, we have Gjorn. He is a character you meet in the first major settlement. Uh, he is what is called a soldier, so he is also a melee-based dude. Uh, he's got some pretty sweet stuff, too, that we picked up recently. Uh, Glorn, over here on the right flank, the left flank, technically, I guess, is a dwarf that we met in the Glitterdalve Mines which is a big underground mine complex that we traveled through to get to the mountains where we are now. Uh, we got him a bitch in a hat with spikes on it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, he can also dish out quite a bit of melee damage. I think more than anyone else, actually. Yeah, I think he does the most DPS. Actually, no, Strong McJohn does a little bit more. Back on the right flank, we have you, Laura. Uh, who is an archer. Uh, she was our second party member. We found her in the crypts of the ancient blood. No, sacred blood. Crypt of the sacred blood. Um, and we rescued her from the Krug, who are like basically the orc equivalents in this game. Um, and she joined our party. She has a goofy hat, but it adds one to ranged skill, so that's why she wears it. But she got a new bow here, and this bow is vicious. It does as much damage as our melee weapons, but it does it from a range. Back in this corner, we have Zed. Zed, the nature mage. So there's two schools of magic in this gang, or in this game. Uh, combat magic and nature magic. And combat magic is kind of what it sounds like. It's a lot of aggressive stuff. Nature magic. It's kind of what it sounds like. It's a lot of support and healing. 
but it does have damaging spells as well. Um, and we got an amazing new hat for Zed, the nature mage here, uh, which is this dunce cap like situation. It's a wizard's hat, okay? Don't call it a dunce cap, it's a wizard's hat. Um, and so, a uh, wizard cap, pardon me. And so Zed uh, has that. He also has a really fun thing going on where even though he's a caster and he doesn't use his melee weapons, you can still slot a shield onto your caster and it still gives him his passive buff, which is a um, like a shielding spell. So the physical shield has a shielding spell on it, which uh, he gets as a passive buff at all times. So that's why he's kind of shimmery like that. And then finally, we have the bestest donkey ever, Flare, uh, who is literally a pack mule. You can buy or recruit pack mules in this game, and they will carry all your crap for you. Because like I said, this game does uh, get, like you get lots of loot between settlements in this game. So uh, Flare actually kind of kicks ass and will literally like kick enemies in combat but mostly tries to stay out of combat. And that is our, our crew that we're rolling with here. Uh, we are in this, this town of Glacern, which is up here high in the mountains. And uh, the legend goes that it was founded at this site because when the first settlers arrived, they found this statue here and nothing else, just this statue with the name Glacern on it. And uh, they decided this would be a good place to set up a, a mountain settlement. And so here we are. They built this, this town. The story so far is quite straightforward. Essentially, our character, our main character here, was a farmer. And he was minding his own business. Strong McJohn was out tending his crops when his uh, neighbor came running up his neighbor old Norik an old man came running up and basically said the Krug are attacking you have to go tell the people in Stonebridge which was the nearest town and the Krug like I said are basically dungeon siege orcs so why are the Krug attacking? no one knows so you fight your way through a bunch of Krug through the forests and the fields you make your way to Stonebridge Norik, Norik dies <laughs> you get to Stonebridge you basically like yo the Krug are attacking and the people in Stonebridge are like yeah we know the Krug attacked here too why are the Krug attacking? no one knows so we have to go tell the next town over and the next town over is Glacier so we we fought our way through the Glitter Delve Mines through the ruins of Wesseran Cross to get here and uh, we came here and we, we told the overseer of Glacern. Oh, there goes the there goes the rain. Now it's just snow. It's so much quieter without it. Uh, we told the overseer of Glacern up here uh, that the Krug are attacking. And he's basically like, yeah, I know. I pulled back all the legionaries from patrols to reinforce the city because the Krug are, are attacking. And uh, he said that uh, the rain's back. Yeah, we've got a very rainy inn here. Um, and that's really the whole story. The whole story is that the Krug are attacking and we have to go tell the next town over. I believe our current quest is to go f uh, reinforce a fortress down the way called Fortress Croft, which is uh, under attack. But oh yeah, but also, well here, let's open our quest journal here and I can I can let the characters tell it better than I can. The quest from Merrick. So Merrick was the mage that protected this town of Glacern, but he went missing, and that's when everything went to hell. So we can play the dialogue for this quest. I appreciate your enthusiasm to help, soldier, but I've got a battle to plan. It doesn't take a fool to beat us all Sunday, our grand mage Merrick Bennett. Find him! I don't know if you can even hear that, but basically, Grand Mage Merrick went missing. We gotta go find him. 
uh, the innkeeper here, this lady named Julinda, tells us that she's had visions that the Grand Mage Merrick is trapped in the ice caverns to the north. So we gotta head to the ice caverns to the north and hopefully rescue the Grand Mage Merrick. And he might have some information about why these Krug got all so riled up. Because normally, normally they mind their own business. But it seems like they've been riled up by something. And people suspect that it's the goblins. Because the goblins are quite crafty. And they think maybe the goblins have convinced the Krug to attack us for their own nefarious ends. Bradshaw says, this is cool. It almost reminds me of like Skyrim mixed with a runescape. Definitely the vibes for sure. I know. It's got awesome vibes. Um, Sanders says, I just looked it up. That movie has Ray Liotta too. 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Seriously, if you want a movie that's so bad it's good, the Dungeon Siege movie is an excellent one for that. Because it is truly awful, but it has a lot of like... A and B lister actors, uh, maybe A's, but B listers anyway, um, who really just ham it up, just chew the scenery in that movie in the like most ridiculous way, and that does make it kind of fun. Creeper Cat says, I can't celebrate tomorrow, so I've got some vodka for tonight. Cheers, Creeper Cats. I'm glad you're celebrating tonight. That's right, Luminami normalized liking, liking so bad it's good movies. Dungeon Siege is absolutely one of those. Sarah Dubs, you hit with the hit with the nostalgia. Straighten the nostalgia. Scarecrow says Minecraft biomes before Minecraft biomes. I think Morrowind would do that too two different weather patterns at the same time. I mean, this game actually did have some very advanced weather effects for the time. Same with the lighting, uh, the atmospherics in general in this game are really, really well done. Especially considering it came out in 2002. This game's over 20 years old. Uh, I remember being so blown away by these chasms. You must remember at the time, you know, most big RPGs like this had been 2D, right? Like, uh, the 90s were the time of, of the 2D RPGs, like Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, these sorts of things. And there had not been that many, like, fully rendered 3D worlds at that point. Uh, so this was really impressive for its era. Really impressive. So this is actually the way into town. We came from the wilderness out there, but we are going to head out of town. Koro says, I'm so proud of that name, by the way. Sorry, which name was that? <laughs> Koro started the stream. All right. I'm, I'm impressed by your dedication, Koro. Uh, let's head out of town, but feel free to drop Koro's story in the stream, and we'll get to it uh, shortly. Um, Koro's story of the stream, for those who maybe don't know, is going to teach us about ships going to learn about ships, y'all. Uh, but they're always interesting. I like learning about naval history from our resident naval expert, Kuro. Oh, Strong McJohn, that's right. I completely forgot Kuro. That's right, Kuro's suggestion for Strong McJohn was adopted, and now Strong McJohn leads this party. This is the smithy where we, uh, we geared up. It's such a cozy little spot. The Molten Iron Smithery, uh, run by one of Fulton, the smith here. This dude here, Orlov, Smith's Apprentice, he has actually sent us on a quest. He has a, uh, a home to the north of here that uh, he wants us to free from monsters. Free show dialogue. Well, you seem a persistent sort. There's a chest and some crates in my basement. If you can clear the monsters out of there, you are welcome to what you find. My house is in the woods north of here. So we will try and find Orlov's house along the way. I just love how cozy this, this town is. Uh... Alright. 
Um, oh, there was one other thing I was going to do here, though. So the one thing that our party lacks is a combat mage. We have three melee, du melee dudes. We have a ranger, uh, like a an archer. And we have a nature mage, but we don't have a combat mage. And there's a couple of party members we can recruit in here. And I was thinking it might be fun to recruit this guy because he's a combat mage. Uh, and he would definitely help round out our party. That said, this dude here, Crowduck, also pretty freaking fantastic. Uh, he does an amazing Arnie impression. Here, check it out. Chieftain tell Crowduck, bring caravan safe to Kingdom of East. I bring to Stonebridge, the new leaking crook burned town. Driver steals wagon, driver takes Crowduck gold, and driver runs away. Crowduck tracks to Glacern, but cannot chase further. Crowduck help you if you help him. Crowduck good at smashing, beating, crushing, anything you like. Smashing, beating, crushing, anything you like. <laughs> I do like Crowduck, yes. But we have already got three melee dudes in our party. And I don't think we need another one. I'm sorry, Crowduck. You think about it. Crowduck will wait. Be here when you're ready for big strapping warriors, huh? Good, good. See you later. <laughs> good, good. Um, Mauser, what's up? How you doing? Welcome. Happy holidays to you too. Uh, this dude here though. Uh, Loren. I think he might, he might have what we need. Let's talk to him. If the overseer sees fit to send you out on a madman's quest, I should at least see you've a chance at living through it. I'm the best mage in these parts, and I may be old, but I was roasting goblins with mage fire when your daddy's daddy was a whelp. If you've the gold so as I can settle my accounts here, we can get moving before you can say bless the Glitterdell. Will you have me along? So basically we've got a crusty old dwarf combat mage here. If we look at his stats, He's a dedicated combat mage, level 9, combat magic. This game has leveling kind of similar to the Elder Scrolls in that the more you use a particular type of skill, the more it levels up. I've always liked that kind of thing, actually. Uh, he costs about 4,000 gold to hire, but we have like 12,500, so we can afford to, to bring him into our party. Let's do it. Let's do it. Enough. Let's be off then. That's straightforward. Man doesn't have much to say. Awesome. So we now have Lauren in our party. And uh, we can uh, let's move him up to there in the party order. And we actually have a book of combat magic spells that I've been holding on to. Uh, specifically for when we get a combat mage. These are spells that we've we've found along the way. So he he actually comes with a spell book and one spell, summon twisted mucosa, which summons like a, a scary spider. Um, but our spell book is loaded with spells. So and uh, we gotta find a good one for this guy. So if memory serves, explosive powder is actually a really good spell. It like lobs, like a little bomb that then blows up and does area of effect damage. So let's give him explosive powder as his, uh, his primary there. Orb of fire, we'll summon a, an orb of fire to spin around. Um, and then where was that summon? We should pull his summon twisted mucosa out of there and put that into this book so that he can summon creatures as well. Uh, let me just see. Uh, how did I have this guy set up? So his summon is on four. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that I have both the summons on the same uh, quick slot here. So let's do and where was his orb of frost okay three and four are his orbs so let's do uh, 
gas, gas on there. I just gotta get this new party member set up here, so. Uh, one, two. And then open this guy's inventory. Oops. And we will do all the fire and the summon twisted mucosa. We can just get rid of. I don't know, turn coach. We'll just pop that out of there for now. Pop that into there. have fireball as well Kuro. well we have fire spray not fireball just yet uh fire goals that thank you for the hydration i've definitely got beer here but i've also got my orange zevia which i'm gonna hydrate with now important to stay hydrated thank you very much uh a posture check also very important let's roll those shoulders y'all stretch that neck make sure that we are Oh, doing our best to keep our chests open, keep our back nice and gently curved in the lumbar region. I mean, you're probably not all standing like I am, but if you're sitting, it's still good to do. If you're laying down, I can't help you. Um, and a blood sugar check. Thank you also, Fargoals, for the blood sugar check. Let's do that right now. Uh, staying pretty steady at 6.4, so thank you for that. That's not too bad. Thank you for that check, fire goals up. Oops. Let's all time out of there. And mark those off the list. Uh, yo, Bricycle, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chat. Also, Bradshaw says, you said you stream every Sunday. Yes, I do. Yup. You've literally been watching me for over 10 years, but this might be the first live stream you've been. <laughs> well, to be fair, for uh, the last, most of the last five and a half years, I've streamed exclusively on Twitch. It's only within the last couple of months that I've started multi-streaming to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time because Twitch updated their partner agreement and they now allow us to do this. Uh, so that's probably why uh, that you, you know maybe didn't know. But hey, it's really cool to have you with us. I'm glad that you can join us on YouTube after all these years. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so uh, then this dude, what has he got? He's got Ugh, just a garment that's pretty crappy we can get him something better than that we can definitely get him some better gear uh, I should have definitely definitely uh, oops. Uh, I should have recruited this guy before I sold off all my gear <laughs> that would have been smart but we can probably buy some of it back it'll just be a little costlier which is unfortunate but Let's see what we can get. Back again, are you? I bet you've got some tales to tell. So, what can I get you? And Kuro, thank you for the story of the stream. We'll read it in the, in just a moment. We're just gonna try and get out of the town here. Okay, boiled leather. No, what's his strength rating? His strength is eleven. What's the best he can use? Okay, the spider silk. Not too bad. Defense 32 plus 3 to armor plus 12 to health. God, that's expensive though. That's very pricey. Also, he has no hat. That one's not too bad. Whatever, let's just spend all our cash on this dude. Let's just get him kitted out. Let's get him the rough spider silk hauberk of the badger. There we go. 
Let's get him the woven headband of the fox. And uh, in terms of boots, that's probably the best we can do, honestly. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything better, but we can get some, some cruddy gloves for him. So that's better than nothing, right? All right, this guy is he's pretty rough. We're definitely going to have to find some better stuff for him soon, but uh, we'll probably find some stuff as we go, you know. Uh, we can put these into his secondary spell book here. Oh, he also comes with a, with a, a lore book, The Occupation of Fortress Craw, which is somewhere we've got to head to. Uh, that's going to be a ways down the line, but I am curious to know more about Fortress Craw, so maybe we can read that lore book in a little bit. But I would like to get us out of this town uh, and out into the wilderness. So, let's say goodbye to Glacier. Out the north gate. Uh, this guard says, Snow is playing with my eyes, but I swear I've seen things moving around out there today. If I were you, I'd head back to the inn and grab a warm brew till the storm blows over. A warm brew? I guess like a mulled beer. Or maybe tea. By the way, uh, B-Shot 1212, I assume that's Bradshaw. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. You're welcome. Welcome. Yo, Grapple, congrats on the 10 stream streak. Grapple says, not even streaming a day early than your usual stream can stop me. You cannot be stopped. Live Garrett reaction to finally getting the whole world ending thing Constantine was doing squared away after seven years. Seven and a half years. It happened. Let's spend all our cash on this dude. You betcha, Drake. You betcha. Yo, what's up, Jess? Hello, Jess637. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're in the mood for lots of chatting and a little bit of a retro video game. What does this guy say? You picked a bad week to travel north. The road will be impassable for another few months. And the Overseer has withdrawn Legion patrols from the subterranean caverns during these attacks. No doubt the Trog are having a heyday down there in our absence. You'll need all the luck I can wish you if you must go. As you nice warning, warning to you, friend. So yeah, we're going to head into some ice caverns and then eventually we'll head into some underground crystal caves. But uh, I think we're ready to hit the road. I would say, I would say. Why is this dude just like weirdly tacked on behind us? Oh, I see. There we go, okay. Now he's actually part of our selected group here. You can pick formations for your party in this game, which is kind of fun. Almost a little bit RTS-like. Let's save before we head out into the wilderness. This game is super cool. I really love it. Uh, for a game of its age, it holds up pretty well. It's probably like a couple bucks on Steam if anyone's interested. I bet you it's on sale for the holiday sale. Um, it does take a little bit of doing to get it working on modern systems well. I recommend checking out, if you do pick this up on Steam, there's a community post um, about how to enable the expansion pack content, which is not enabled by default, even though all the content does come with the Steam version, it's not enabled by default. And then also it has some fixes to make it run a little better on modern systems. So. Fat Hen says, Fate Hen, not Fat Hen, Fate Hen. OMG Dungeon Siege, all time favorite for me. Same, same. I'm always amazed by how many people actually remember this game because it feels like it's been so forgotten by everyone. But then when I actually bust it out, people are like, oh my God, this game, I used to play this. It's cool that so many people remember it. 
it's it's a little sad that it the series just kind of died the developer of gas powered games they folded um i want to say about seven years ago now sadly maybe eight a while ago uh they also are known for supreme commander um and uh what else say they do demigod i want to say it's weirdly quiet here where are all the bad guys <laughs> This is making me a little nervous. Oh, I think I just heard some bad guys. There we go. Let's go. Oh gosh, our our poor spellcaster Lauren back here is getting a riggedy wrecked uh, by some wolves that popped out of the bushes behind us. So one of the cool things you can do in this game is you can. Uh, you can pause the game and issue orders and then, you know, unpause the game. So it's like active pause, they call it. Um, and that's really helpful for situations like this where, uh, you know, someone's getting wrecked in your party. So we can order him to, to run away <laughs> and order the rest of our party to get out here and to attack these wolves. Kind of getting worked over here, huh? Okay, let's get some healing going on for our buddy Lauren here. There we go. What do we get? A nicked full axe, an earthen helm, and some gold. What's all that about? Let's uh, let's heal our. Spellcasters there. Fate Hand, yes, the Jeremy Soul music. That's right, the music in this game is by none other than Jeremy Soul, who did all the music for um, uh, the Elder Scrolls games, of course, famous famously, but also uh, the Guild Wars games, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, Harry Potter games. So many games. Good stuff. All right. Uh, no fear at footfalls or the gods. Thank you for the uh, sub on YouTube. If you're watching, I appreciate that. Uh, Helix says, I used to watch my dad play these games. Pack Mule is always dying. The poor Pack Mule. The poor Pack Mule. Always getting beaten up in the back. Flair is a champion. A real hero. Um, and uh, if we had someone else in the chat here saying they used to watch their dad play this game too, which is really fun. Grapple says, I enjoy its lack of polygons. The mountains are square as the Lord intended. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, was it as recent as 2018? The gas power games folded, was it? Grapple says, but the last game they released was in 2011. Okay, that would explain it. Was that Subcom 2? I remember they, they put forward a Kickstarter uh, for a game called Wild Man that was going to be like a kind of a hybrid RTS RPG, uh, like a Stone Age setting, but they they never made their, their goal, which is too bad. I really wish they had. It could have been a very different trajectory for that studio if they had made that. Let me know if the combat's too loud, y'all. Wait, are we still under attack? Where from? I thought I heard one of those dudes still, but maybe not. Something about the snowy environments in this game were just so good. It really honestly 
captures like a snowy forest better than like a lot of more modern games somehow despite its simple tech fate answers i always recognize jeremy so when i play kotor or skyrim absolutely yeah his his style is unmistakable he was one of the most prolific composers of the aughties you know 2000s and uh and his his signature style is over all all sorts of games you also get this what they call the mega map here which allows you to sort of have this overhead aerial view which is actually really helpful sometimes for exploration you can order your dudes around on that map ah yo black empathy happy new year thank you for the new year's wishes the same to you i wish you an excellent 2024 Uh, yeah, what happened, Greppel, was I believe Gas Power Games was acquired by uh, Wargaming, the ones who do like World of Warships and that kind of stuff. Pretty sure. Um, and they were absorbed into that company, and that's when the, the Gas Power Games name finally died, sadly. Drake, you have a good one. Thanks for coming on by. Thank you again for the raid, my guy. Yes, I got an email that there's something in my P.O. box yesterday, so I have to go and check it out. That could very well be your card. That could very well be your card. I will go check it out tomorrow. You have a good one, Drake. Happy New Year. All the best to you and Jenna Lee. And we will see you in 2024. Y'all, make sure that you go and follow our boy Drake. He streams here on Twitch. The vibes are so good, so chill. You're missing out if you're not following. Let's give a shout out to Draconis is an artist. Shout out to Draconis is an artist. There you go. There you go. Go follow that man. You can click up there. Click the heart. Follow that man. That's right, Grapple. Of course, I completely forgot the Gas Powered Games did Age of Empires Online, but then everyone's forgotten about Age of Empires Online. I didn't actually hate AoE Online, but man, Microsoft is just expunged every every ounce of reference to that game uh, it does not exist as far as they are concerned uh, subcom 2 was 2010 got it yo Tyrannosaurus Rex it's been a hot minute how are you doing how are you doing Kuro says it's almost concerning how it's taking an entire party of decently equipped adventurers more than a second to bludgeon a poor wolf to death. Well, maybe they're magical wolves. Magical wolves. Uh, Neebzy, thank you for the hydration. I appreciate that. I've got my orange Zevia here that I'm hydrating with tonight. Zero sugar, stevia sweetened. Thank you for looking out for your streamer. Moby Dixon, what is up? Moby Dixon says, long time lurker, first time commenter. Hello and welcome to the chat. Can we have a warm stream welcome for Moby Dixon, who is here for the first time in the chat, despite lurking for quite some time. I appreciate you breaking your silence. Moby Dixon, yes, this game is available on Steam. It's probably a few bucks right now. I would bet it's on sale for the holiday, holiday sale. So definitely check it out on Steam. Grapple says Wildman got to half of its funding before they cancelled the Kickstarter. It's really sad. I would have loved to see what they managed to do with that game. Could have been so different than how it turned out. Tyrannosaurus Rex, you're a beekeeper now. Yo. What do you have to learn to be a beekeeper? Is it a challenging thing or just kind of learn as you go. Thank you for kindly welcoming in Moby Dixon, y'all. Uh, they only got to half before they canceled it because it wasn't likely to reach its goal. And apparently they were worried that people were donating because they felt sorry for them and their financial difficulties. I don't know if it was me and I was like the studio was on. Well, I don't know. You never know really what people are up to or what their situation is. It's hard to, hard to know. 
Um, I'm going to take this moment to scroll back and read one very special crow story of the stream. Uh, we're going to take a, a quick break here to learn about ships, y'all. Naval history. Because our uh, community member, Kuro, is, let's say, an aficionado when it comes to the history of ships. And I always learn something fascinating every time he shares one of these uh, stories. So today, Kuro has prepared for us some information about... Uh, let's find out. We'll find out. Okay, I'm going to read. I've got, got some preamble here, so let's read this. Um, it's true, Scarecrows. Nobody asks about why we're bringing our donkey into their house. It's true. Tick Spring says, I wish I knew about this game long ago. It would be more immersive for me than Baldur's Gate 2, which I quit after 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for something with prettier graphics and more modern sort of sensibilities, this game would have been awesome for you back in the day. All right, Kuro says, good evening and happy New Year's Eve, Nick and chat. I bought Cyberpunk 2077 the other day, and I've been spending basically all my time playing it. And in the world of Cyberpunk, it gets mentioned on the news that the Arasaka Corp has moved uh, one of their state-of-the-art aircraft carriers from Japan to Night City. That's right, Kujira, or The Whale. I looked around online to try and see if the ship was based on something, but unfortunately, Arasaka's Kojira is a complete work of fiction. That's too bad. That did, however, remind me of the Ace Combat games, specifically Ace Combat 7, and some of the ships we see in those games. I've never played the Ace Combat games except a little bit with a friend uh, at their place many years ago. I don't know which one it was. It would have been circa 2003 or four, probably. Unfortunately for fans of the Ace Combat games, I have to tell you that ships like the Alicorn are also complete works of fiction. But there are quite a few named ships in these games that are at least loosely based on real-life vessels, such as the Kestrel class and the Admiral Anderson, both of which use the IRL Nimitz class of US carriers for their outward appearance. So with that long-winded intro out of the way, I welcome you back to Crow's Story of the Stream, and on tonight's episode, the United States supercarrier, the USS Nimitz. Alright, let's learn about the Nimitz. Immediately off the bat, unlike basically every other ship I've mentioned before, uh, who were either sunk, scrapped, or turned into museum ships, the USS Nimitz is still active to this day. In fact, she's the oldest aircraft carrier in the world. Commissioned in 1975, the old girl was named after Chester W. Nimitz, a World War II Pacific Fleet commander and Third Fleet Admiral. Another fun fact about Uncle Chester, I guess as I called him, um, and that was really one of, oh, the ship is you know, called Uncle Chester. She's a nuclear-powered, nuclear-powered carrier. Cool. Yo, what's up, Hankwana? This game is Dungeon Siege. Dungeon Siege, an RPG classic from 2002. Uh, but right now, we are learning about an aircraft car carrier, the USS Nimitz. I'm just reading something shared by one of our community members who knows a heck of a lot about warships. Um, originally laid down as c 68, standing for Aircraft Attack Nuclear. She was later redes re redesigned into CVN-68, Aircraft Multi-Mission Nuclear. I don't know what the difference is. Basically, this just tells us that her original design was meant for almost exclusively combat situations, meaning she might have only held fighters or bombers. But with her redesign, she's now capable of housing and sending out a variety of different aircraft types. Being a modern-day ship, the Nimitz has seen her fair share of encounters. There was an incident back in the 80s where two planes accidentally crashed into the runway, killing 14 and injuring 45 others. That's terrible. That's a bad accident. Autopsy reports from the incident revealed that both pilots, as well as some of the standby crew, were high on the devil's lettuce. <laughs> oh no. Causing President Ronald McDonough, I mean Reagan, to crack down on his zero-tolerance drug policy. 
I had no idea that was a precipitating factor. Fascinating. Her aircraft were the ones responsible for shooting down two Libyan fighters during the Gulf of Sidra, Sidra incident. I'm not familiar, but sure. She took place in Operation Desert Storm and Operation Southern Watch. When two Lebanese gunmen took control of a commercial flight in 1987, the USS responded in typical U.S. fashion by sending the Nimitz to Libya and spent 67 days turning Beirut into the metropolitan equivalent of Swiss cheese. Big yikes. Uh, Hell, the Nimitz was put on security during the 1988 Olympic Games in Seoul, South Korea. The old girl has been around the block, but sadly she's estimated to be decommissioned in 2025 being fully taken off the battle force by 2027. But one hopes that maybe, maybe it will get turned into a museum ship or something like that, because that would be really cool. I'd like to visit the Nimitz. That'd be pretty neat. Where is the Nimitz? Uh, like, home birth, if that's a thing. Is it in the Pacific Northwest? Uh, Hank Wana, uh, I hope that you can uh, metabolize all that caffeine and uh, unless maybe it's the morning for you and maybe you're actually looking for all that caffeine, I don't know. Uh, Faytan says, I have the Steam version, but it's sad that it, it does not contain the Legends of Orion expansion. There is a, uh, there is a, oops, <laughs> um, a community post. Uh, on the Steam community for Dungeon Siege on Steam that will show you, or it has a thing you can just plop in your game folder that will enable the Legends of Arana expansion on the Steam version because all the files are already there. They're in the, the game uh, from Steam. They're just not enabled. But this will uh, enable them for you and will also make it run better on modern systems. So definitely go check out the Steam community for Dungeon Siege on Steam if you want the Legends of Arana map. 1am still going strong, I want to know. Are you one of those people that's not super affected by caffeine, Hankwana? Or are you strongly affected by caffeine? I am strongly affected by caffeine, I must say. Tyrannosaurus Rex says, mostly learning as you go, talking about beekeeping, because every hive is different. Uh, but I love talking about it, so ask any questions. Do you have to use the smoker thing to calm the bees down? Naga, how late are we running tonight? We going, we going tonight. I don't know, maybe another hour or something. I'm, I'm just vibing, and I don't have anywhere to be tomorrow, so we'll just keep going for a little bit longer. Thorek, you have a good one. Thank you for chilling with us. I appreciate you making it out. Glad you got to see a bit of gameplay. Have a great night, and Happy New Year, Thorek. Happy New Year. Take care. Oh, Jess says, I'm going to head out myself now. I should actually be productive and work for my part, for part of my shift. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know you were at work. Jess, it was so nice to see you again. I hope we see you again sometime soon. Uh, I'd like to love to chat with you and just catch up. Yeah, it's uh, been so long. Have a good night, and uh, best of luck with the rest of your shift. Eepsy asks, have you ever considered a wandering and escape from Tarkov ASMR video? I have not. I have not. Should I? It has beautiful maps that are covered in snow for winter. It has extremely high quality sounds and animations. You can go into a custom map and remove all enemies and AI. I had no idea. It was certainly not on my, my radar as something I should consider. But you know what? I will look into it. I did not know you could do a custom map like that and just wander around. Yo, Bradshaw, have a good one. Thanks for chilling with us. Indy just found the arc if anyone's wondering. All right, you enjoy the rest of your film. You have a great new year, and I hope we see you again sometime soon. Take care, Bishaw. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I love that grandpa. Absolutely. Uh, yes, this is the Steam version, Joey Flowers, the Steam version that I'm playing right now. Uh, yo, Huffy has asked for some keyboard sounds. We can definitely, we 
can definitely do some of those for you. One day we'll get back to the game here. Um, also, Leah, hello, and thank you for the blood sugar check. Let me do that quickly right now. It was uh, pretty stable, and it still is. 6.7, pretty stable. Uh, thank you so much for making sure I'm taking care of myself. I appreciate that. How have you been? Happy holidays. Um, for the keyboard sounds, requested by Huffy, let's do one of my favorite sounding keyboards of the year, which is this year, this year, Beauty from iQnix. iQnix. One of the most pleasing sounding boards I've got here. Just gorgeous. They're really pretty too. But. Uh, Moby Dixon says, I can't believe this game came out in 2002. I don't know if you play 4X games at all. Not a whole lot, but like I play Civ. <laughs> but at the time, there was a game that came out called Lords of the Realm 2. I'm familiar with it, although I've not played it. Which is far more immersive than even Crusader Kings. That's impressive. You've cut, you have cut scenes where if you do wrong by your subjects, you can get imprisoned or beheaded. And it feels like games have massively regressed from this era to corpo greed. There's definitely something special about games from this era, era. I think there's some great games out these days too, but I do get a lot of nostalgia for games of this time. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Um, Joey Flowers, tonight I'm drinking, I'm drinking this one right here, the Coffee and Donuts Imperial Stout from Steamworks Brewing. Steamworks Brewing has a really fun can. It is a strong, sweet, decadent Imperial Stout. Uh, it's, it's yummy. It's very yummy. Oh yeah, isn't that true, Kuro? Like they have a baby, a baby planter's peanut mascot, isn't that a thing? Neebsy, um, it was, it was doing that actually, I think, where both the Twitch and the YouTube chat were going to, uh, the stream, like the, the imprinted chat over there. Is it not anymore? Because it was for a little while. It was for a little while. A fate hen, uh, <laughs> we have people watching on both Twitch and on YouTube. So if you're interested in joining the Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash the ASMR nerd is where the majority of people are watching right now. But you're, you're welcome to hang out in whichever chat you prefer on whatever platform you're most comfortable with. I can't make it so that both chats can chat together, but I can make it so you can both watch. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely time to play some some Civ, uh, at least on stream again. It has been too long. I completely agree, Faden. I love playing Civ over the, the winter months, so maybe we can do some in January. Oh, you didn't realize that that drink had caffeine in it, Iguana. Oh, I hope you didn't take too much. That's, that's a little bit worrisome, eh? Tyrannosaurus Rex, sometimes you do use the smoker. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> I just kind of messed up, Kuro. You're not wrong. Yo, what's up, Beanard? Stream's going well. We've barely actually played the game, but things are good. Things are good, you know. Yes, Naga, I do plan on streaming this coming Thursday. Uh, not tomorrow, or not Sunday. Because it's New Year's Eve, and Sarah and I have some plans, uh, but on Thursday I do intend to stream. Moby Dixon says also the Nimitz had one of the first major documented case of UAP. I don't know what that means. Oh, an unidentified something? Huh. That's crazy. Leia, your mom has a sensor now, but for type two diabetes, these sensors are fantastic. And if your mom needs to monitor her blood sugar, I'm glad she's using a sensor because they are they are such a, 
a lifesaver. Meow, mega meow, you like that keyboard? Doesn't it sound nice? It is delightful. Huffy, you like that one too? Uh, it is, it's a pretty special one. I do have a video with it on the YouTube channel as well. But, uh, it is a beaut. It's a beaut. Ah, there you go, Neebsy. Now you know. Now you know. Um, I need to go relieve myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go do that. I will be right back. I know. I know. The gameplay has been very lacking tonight. We will continue with the gameplay when I return. But if we're gonna keep going, I definitely have to go empty the tank. So I'm gonna go do that. I will return in just a moment. In the meantime, be excellent to one another. Whatever you do, don't burn down the chat. And I will be right back.
Did, did it, did it finally happen? Did I leave and come back and the chat didn't burn down? What? what? That's unbelievable. <laughs> you, you guys, you did it. You didn't burn the chat down. I think this is literally the first time ever that I, that I have left and come back and there wasn't flames all in the chat. Uh, Sargon out there proactively ensuring that there weren't going to be any flames, but it didn't matter. No one burned anything. Humanity has ended. <laughs> yeah, what? Where's the real chat and what did you do with them? <laughs> Uh, Joey Flowers, it's been a little over a week, and it does feel like it's been a while, doesn't it? Uh, I had intended to stream on Thursday, but life had other plans, so uh, today is a makeup stream for that. But yes, over Christmas, I, I did not stream quite as much as I normally would. I don't think I mentioned it, by the way, but this keyboard is the Icunix Tilly 60, if anyone's curious. The Tilly 60. I don't think I actually gave you the name. Ah, fair enough, maybe. Gotcha, Moby Dick, so that makes sense. Naga, are you heading out? Naga, have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Happy New Year. We will see you in 2024. Uh, have a wonderful New Year's Eve. And, uh, Looking forward to another awesome year hanging out with you, Naga. Take care. Uh, by the way, Freshizo, Fresh, sorry, Freshzo Other in YouTube chat. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, Iguana. Takis are so good. I love Takis. They're delicious. 126 for Iguana. That is the same for me. You're in the Pacific time zone, eh? Hang on, I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> it's, it's another Christmas miracle, Sargon. All right, let's play a bit more of this game, y'all. Let's play a bit more of this game. Uh, picked up a bit of new gear. What is this? Nicked Phylax and an Earthen Helm. I don't think any of us can use that yet, so... All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Across this bridge. Yo, Naga. <laughs> Naga, thank you for the resub. I thought you were going to bed. So CP. All right, well, thank you for resubscribing just before you head off to sleep. Congratulations on your 30-month subversary. That's a dang lot of months. That is two and a half years as a matter of fact naga happy two and a half years thanks for being a rad part of this community for so dang long uh sleep well sleep well hope you wake up feeling arrested ready to take on whatever you got going on tomorrow uh grab what we don't know if the fridge is salvageable yet uh it is still not functioning but um, uh, we've got a repair guy coming by on Tuesday, Tuesday, so we'll find out then, I guess, but it's a pretty new fridge, so I really hope it is salvageable. Zora Frozen, welcome back to the sub club for month number five. I appreciate you coming on back again. I hope you continue to enjoy your subscription benefits and to celebrate both Naga and Zora Frozen. I'm a tap on this tater. I'm a tap on this tater just for y'all. Just for y'all. Fisher the fish, welcome. Is that a burning picnic basket you have there? Uh, Joey Flowers, I had a good Christmas, thank you. Yeah, I got some really nice gifts. I got some nice tops. I got a new uh, beard trimmer, shaver. Uh, I got a couple nice, well, 
we got a couple nice pillows, one for each of Sarah and I, for the bed, really comfy pillows. I got a silken pillowcase, literally a silk pillowcase, so that my hair stays nice. Um, I got um, a couple of really fun books about the history of Blizzard North and the Diablo games, which are fascinating looking. Um, I got an ocarina. I got literally an ocarina, like from Zelda, Ocarina of Time. So I'm going to learn how to play the ocarina. Um, and, and a number of other really fun and thoughtful things. What about you, Joy Flowers? Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex says, I'm going to try Divinity 2 for the first time. I've not played Divinity 2, so I'm afraid I do not have any tips. No tips. But I'm sure someone in chat would. John! John Weissmiller! Welcome, John. How are you? Oops. Uh, happy holidays, John. Oh boy, got lots of dudes over here. I completely agree, Crosser. Dungeon Siege is such a vibe. Such a vibe. Oh, we got Farrakh over here. These guys are like terrifying. Look at them. Freaking terrifying. Nice, we froze him. Dead. This game has a button. You just press the Z button and your party will go around and pick up all the loot. It's fantastic. This game was very ahead of its time in terms of its quality of life features. Joy Flower says, why new guys beers? Do you go to the brewery? Do you have a subscription thing? Uh, neither. I generally just pick up beers from uh, the local liquor store. So we have a liquor stores here. They sell a, a whole lot of different craft brews from, from the region. Um, although, oh, oh gosh. This is a nasty looking ambush. Um, a lot of the beers I, I've been drinking recently came from an advent calendar that has a whole collection, like 24 different beers from craft breweries in British Columbia. And that was put together by a, a liquor store chain called Cascadia Liquor. So, all right, these guys do a lot of damage. So let's, let's, Carefully fight them here. Let's uh, cast some healing here. Nice, the nature mage just level up. Stuff. Now, uh, um, I was going to. Oh, I know. I was going to. I was going to summon. Uh, summon some orbs and some creatures. Someone twisted mucosa. Oh, not enough mana. Fair enough. Oh, that's awkward. We don't have mana potions for our mage. We forgot to get health and mana potions for this guy. Very awkward. There. Uh. Oh, why doesn't this guy do? Hold on. It's supposed to be there. 
There we go. Nice. Now we've got a scary spider summon and a giant rat summon. What more could you want? Alright, let's keep cruising. Stream streak. Oh, I got guys over here. He says I finished my first, ball, first Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough about a week ago. And man, the ending I got was amazing, and I immediately started a second one after downloading some really cool mods. I really need to spend more time with BG3. I really do. Game of the year across pretty much every publication, it seems like. I've enjoyed what I've played, but I just have not had a whole lot of time to actually engage with it. sad. Instead, I play moldy old games like Dungeon Siege, which are also awesome in their own way. Ooh, this might be that guy's uh, cabin that was mentioned. Hank Wana, good luck with the sleep. Good luck with the sleep. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you for, for subscribing, Hekwanda. Thank you for uh, for joining us here. Look forward to seeing your future streams. Next stream is going to be Thursday. On Thursday. But most weeks I stream like Thursdays and Sundays. So I hope we see you again sometime. But uh, yeah, best of luck with the sleep. Um... Sam Cam, yo, what is up, my dude? Sorry, I missed you there. How's it going, Keith? <laughs> Nick, 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 Nickelodeon, you better believe it. Uh, shout out to our boy, Sam Cam ASMR. Uh, fantastic, fantastic ASMR creator. Long time member of this community. Awesome all around, dude. Shout out, not shout out, shout out. Uh, go hit that heart. Go follow that man. Enrich your life. Make it a New Year's resolution. Follow Fam Cam ASMR. <laughs> Overthinks. I am so good. Thank you. I hope you've been great. I've had some great holidays. Toyota Corolla. Been busy. I feel that. I feel that. Um. Got some wolves, uh, but I hope it's a good busy. I hope it's been a good busy. Oof. Some spicy wolves. Oh crap! Our mage is dying here. Uh, this poor frozen wolf. Frozen solid. Gosh, there's a lot of wolves here. A little big for rock. Oh, he killed our spider. Our spider exploded. Our summoned spider. We got a chest back here. With a forest axe in it. A magical forest axe. Yo, what's over this way? Does this just connect up with where we've been, or is this somewhere else entirely? 
feel like this is where we've been. Yeah, it totally is. Okay. That explains it. That's the best selling point ever, which is that. Which is that. Heck yeah, it's Keith Gracie. Neves, he says, don't worry, in 20 years when Baldur's Gate 3 is a money old game, a moldy old game, I'll finish my playthrough. Yeah, you, that's exactly what's going to happen. 100%. Overthinks, thank you for following our friend FamCam ASMR. Like I said, if you like what we do here, you will love FamCam. You will love FamCam. Jess, how much longer am I streaming for tonight? Oh... Know, maybe 20 minutes maybe half hour probably not a whole lot longer but at least a bit at least a bit zurich thank you for the follow welcome on in welcome on in thanks for joining us uh denton mckee says it'll just be the fire giant in elden ring this stream is much welcome we've had a couple uh elden ring refugees coming in here saying they needed to lower their blood pressure so uh congrats on your your success fire giant destruction but also welcome hope you can chill here uh hank wanna i've not played ultima online i've played some of the older ultima games but never online i mean i know ultima online is also pretty old but am i pretty old i mean like what 25 years or something yo Look who it is, you guys, in the YouTube chat. It is Rex Sterling Live. Rex, how have you been, my guy? Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Rex says, this year's Halloween and Christmas Skyrim videos were an amazing treat. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I was really unsure about how this year's Skyrim Christmas video was going to turn out, but by the time I finally finished it, I was actually quite happy with it. I thought it was a really nice classic kind of throwback, which is really appropriate, I thought, because this marks the end of the first decade, I guess, of Wandering and Skyrim Christmas videos. This was the 11th year, which is unreal to me. Hey, Rex, I'm so glad that you're, you're you know, you make those a part of your your holiday celebrations. It's really special that I, I can share that with yourself and with uh, with lots of other folks who, who do, uh, you know, look forward to those videos. They're some of my favorites to make every year. I would not miss them. I would not miss them. It is absolutely my pleasure, Rex. How have you been, Rex? How have you been? All right, let's go into this guy's cabin here because uh, apparently we were supposed to clear it out. Nothing in the upstairs. Pretty empty. It's all wrecked. Everything's smashed. But he's got a cellar. So let's go down into the cellar. Wow, this is quite the cellar he's got. Also, these are some big ass spiders in his cellar. And frost golems. Nice glower and increased in strength. The major stats like strength, dexterity, intelligence are really crucial for what kind of gear you can wear. And this game is quite gear dependent. So uh, it's really important when a, when a melee character increases in strength. That's a big, potentially a big improvement if it unlocks new gear for them to use. Dude has an extremely weird cellar. Oops, I did not mean to just select our donkey. I love the uh, like the atmosphere down here. We've got like a nice fog just sitting on the ground here. 
This game was extremely atmospheric for its time. Nimsy asks, have you ever thought about a 20 or 12 hour or 24 hour stream for a sub goal or channel points reward? Uh, honestly, I've never given it like a really serious thought. Um, I, I don't know. Like on one hand, I mean, I know a lot of people do do those kinds of streams and I certainly don't want to knock anyone who does those super long streams and the sub goal stuff but I guess it's always been my thought that like I don't want to coerce people into subscribing for like a reward necessarily like if people want to subscribe and support I want them to be able to do that just because they want to not because they want to unlock more time for me to stream if that makes sense but that being said it could also be fun to try a big long stream like that I'm sure there's ways I could do it that would, you know, be fun for everybody involved. Um, but it would be pretty tough. I'd have to find a, because, you know, I have a, a regular nine to five weekday kind of job. And then I do the YouTube videos as well. So finding like a 12 or 24 hour chunk where I could just stream would be tricky. Like I'd really have to, I'd really have to plan it in probably like months in advance but anyway to, I guess to answer your question is I haven't thought seriously about it but if it's something that you guys think would be really fun it's certainly something I would think about how I could make it work like if y'all would if y'all would want to do say a 12 hour stream sometime uh, also there's like the health factor like 24 hour streams have always seemed like maybe a maybe a mite unhealthy to me I know that you know for some people that's like it's not that big a stretch but I feel like I would be I'd be so toast by the end of a 24 hour stream I do not think I would be creating compelling content or compelling stream content at that point but I don't know I don't know what do I know? Uh, Famcam says someone gave me 2 million SHU, I don't know what that is, of chili extract oil for Christmas. You're staring at it right now, questioning some life choices. Keith, Keith, where, where are you going in the pursuit of spiciness? Where, where, where is this going? <laughs> One day it will be your undoing. It has a skull on the bottle. When you see that, you know you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. You're questioning some life choices, such as not getting into spicy food sooner. Oh my goodness. Is it delicious, at least? Toter Crawl, you're a fan of Hispanic spicy, but not Asian spicy. Interesting. I, I don't know if there's a difference in the spiciness per se, but certainly the food, yeah, I can get that. Famcam says, I have an aux plug in my headphones because the batteries just died, but the port is a little loose, and when it slips, it suddenly sounds like I'm hearing you through the wall. I sound all muddled and distant. Yo, Stipple. Stipple. Stipple, Stipple, Stipple. Stipple, thank you for that gift sub pile those five rad gift subs for five rad folks Neemsy, jack barstow toyota corolla minty iced tea and joey flowers all just gifted subs by the extremely kind stipple stipple thank you for your support and for welcoming those folks in so warmly to the sub club speaking of welcoming folks in so warmly look what we just got a big old from Amy Pie and Friends. Welcome on in, Amy and Raiders. It is awesome to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Come on in, make yourselves comfy. Pull up a chair, get a comfy blankie, get yourself a nice, nice, uh, you know, hot mug of tea or something. Um, how was your stream, Amy? What were you guys up to over there? 
Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you for coming on in, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. What were you all up to? Felipe, hello. Carl, hello. Natch, welcome, welcome. Alejandro, welcome. Milwaukee, hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Thank you, Natch. Natch. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the kind words. Um, thank you for giving that shout out to Amy Buddy, y'all. Please go click that that over there, that heart over there. Go click that heart. Do yourself a favor. Amy Pie is like one of the like old school OGs doing ASMR here on Twitch. She is fantastic. She's tingly. Her community is awesome. She is super, super nice. What's not to love? They're fantastic. Everybody over there. And Amy is wonderful some excellent ASMR, so please do go follow, do go enjoy, treat yourself treat yourself for 2024 <laughs> treat yourself by following some awesome new ASMR that's on Twitch it was good except for the end because my stream kept dropping, oh that's so frustrating it's the worst especially cause like every time your stream drops like a bunch of people don't come back and you're like wait no no don't go <laughs> please i'm sorry i'm sorry oh it is my pleasure and thank you again for bringing your community on over to hang out with us really appreciate it uh it's always uh, a delight to get to to hang out with your folks and yourself um Bowman, <laughs> Bowman, you've just been jumping around everywhere tonight. Shout out to Bowman Dean once again. Bowman came on in with Drake earlier. Drake on us, ASM artist. Bowman was already hanging out here. Bowman coming in with Amy Pie. Bowman's coming from every angle. Every angle. Uh, Bowman, another fantastic ASMR creator here on Twitch. Continue with that New Year's resolution. Follow Bowman. <laughs> um, Natchum. Ozzy, Steph, and Miss Munch, thank you for the follows. Welcome to the stream. It's great to have you here. Come on in, come on in. Yeah, it's a computer thing, not a not an ISP thing, Amy. Because for me, it was always, it was my crappy internet provider until I switched providers, and it's been pretty fantastic since then. Yo, no worries, Taco. How are you? Come on in. How was work? But you just got like thousands of tabs open. Every single ASM artist that is live on Twitch at any given time, you've got you've got that tab open. Impressive, impressive. Happy New Year's Eve in Australia. Wait, is it? It's not. Twenty twenty four yet, is it? You must be getting pretty close though, eh? It's like evening sometime for you. Maybe internet. Maybe not computer. I'm sorry your internet sucks too. Well, I don't know if your internet sucks, but I'm sorry it's being problematic. <laughs> you can't make nails on a can type. I always wonder about that. I always wonder about that. My fiance Sarah, she she does a lot of like data entry and stuff at work. And she every once in a long while will get her nails done. But she struggles so much with the typing when she gets those nails done, so <laughs> yo, yo, look who it is over in the Twitch chat now. It's our boy Rex Sterling. Rex coming in on over from the YouTube chat, joining us in the Twitch chat and gifting a sub to one Amy Pie. Amy Pie, welcome on into the sub club. We have a little tradition around these parts uh, when people get subscribed, and it is the potato tap. So I'm going to tap on this potato just for you. Well, actually, not just for you, that's a lot, because I'm also tapping on this. What the frick? What the frick? I was going to say, I'm also tapping on this for It's Taco, who just hit 23 months. Almost. That's almost two years, Taco. That's almost two years. You were so close to your two years anniversary. Happy 23 months, Taco. But then also, FamCam gifted a sub to Bowman Dean. So I guess I'm tapping on this tater for Bowman Dean as well. Bowman, welcome on in. 
please do enjoy your subscription benefits, all those spinning potato emotes, etc. Like Toyota Corolla is showing off there. But then, but then, but then, Rex Sterling coming on in with the gift sub bomb, y'all. Rex, <laughs> my dude. Holy smokies. Rex gifting subs to a very deserving pile of folks, including Sir Manfish, Slappy Burrito, Celtic Cobra, Warrior of the Light, Craigsy, Zookin Fufur, BB Richards, Hoyt Five String, Elite Master, and last but certainly not least, Crosser. Crosser. You giant pile of people. You beautiful humans. I'm assuming you're humans. I, I shouldn't assume. We don't know. It's the internet. You never know when someone's a cat. Uh, welcome on in. Welcome on in. Please. Please. Do enjoy your subscription benefits. Feel free to make a liberal use of the potatoes in the chat. Uh, and, uh, and do enjoy all your, your other benefits so kindly gifted to you by Rex, or by Fabcam, or by Rex again, <laughs> uh, whoever it may have been from. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. Merry Christmas, Rex. Happy New Year to you as well. Uh, I wish you a freaking fantastic 2020. I noticed that Rex, Rex said something in the YouTube chat before jumping over here. Rex said, I've been good, brother. I feel like I learned so much about content creation in 2023. My mother is sick and I'm moving home to care for her in January. That is a lot of responsibility. And uh, I'm sorry that that's something you have to bear. But uh, also, um, I'm glad that your mother has you to, to look after her. Um... They'll have a studio there to keep working though and I'm glad that that doesn't mean you know just because you have to um, you know look after your mom it doesn't mean that the content creation dream has to die right don't chat that often but I'm there every video bro love the editing travel photos hey thank you that video that video did like weirdly poorly I thought more people were gonna be into that uh, but it, I don't know people just didn't seem to uh, be so into it but I'm glad that you did I appreciate it. I'm really glad that you did, because uh, it was it was fun to share some of those uh, some of those trip photos from Japan with all y'all. Um, legendary, once again, legendary Rex. Uh, are you are you still streaming regularly, Rex? And if so, what platform is best for people to be following you on? I haven't had a chance to drop in on any of your stuff for quite some time, but uh, let the people know. Uh, Rex is a longtime member of this community, creator of all kinds of variety gaming content, also gaming commentary. Uh, really cool dude, really cool community. Um, so thanks again, Rex. Um, Spiky Firestorm says 8:55 in Melbourne, so a few hours yet. Not quite in 2024 yet, but getting there, getting there. Amy Pai says, Ter you're <laughs> I'm terrible with the long nails, but I mean, they are, I mean, yes, they are fantastic for ASMR, no doubt. I do love me some ASMR tapping, so I can agree with that decision. Ross JP, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm glad you like the potato taps. Let's tap on the potato a little bit. Holy cow, we were just having a nice quiet little stream here and then everything just got blown up in a good way, in the best way possible. Between uh, Amy Pai and, and Rex and fam cam rolling in and some very kind gift subs and all that stuff, you guys. All that stuff. By the way, <laughs> if you're new here, if you're, this is your first time here, uh, welcome. My name's Nick. I'm the ASMR nerd. I do nerdy. ASMR stuff that usually involves, well, a whole lot of talking. I'm very talky. Uh, but I also like to play games. 
this do we do ASMR gaming gear? Uh, tonight we are playing a favorite old game of mine. This is Dungeon Siege. We are in fact in a dungeon right now. This is from way back in 2002, but it's a fun party-based RPG from back in the day. Just finished up a little quest here by clearing out this dungeon. And uh, we are venturing forth through a snowy forest here. Snowy forest, which is uh, a real vibe for winter time, actually. Now I know y'all Southern Hemisphere folks. It's the middle of the summer for you right now. So maybe this looks refreshing, hopefully, hopefully. But let's just sit here and enjoy these vibes a little bit. Um, but anyway. This is what we do here on Twitch. Hang out, chat, do a little bit of ASMR gaming. I also have a YouTube channel if anyone's curious. Lots of uh, chill ASMR gaming wanders, things like that. Um, as well as lots of keyboard reviews and unboxings. Mechanical keyboards are kind of my jam, so. Lots of nice keyboard sounds and such. And such. Uh, exclamation mark YT in the chat. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. Um, and Amy, by the way, if you gotta take off, if you gotta go celebrate your New Year's Eve, uh, or please go get a snack or something after your stream, uh, please do, do go take care of yourself and all that. Uh, but you are more than welcome to chill with us too. Uh, of course, of course. But, uh, thank you again for, for the raid, for everyone that came on in with that raid. Uh, BB Richard says, oops, I just uh, scrolled away. Uh, says, hey, I love ASMR nerd. I'm currently a student with insomnia and your content significantly helps me. Yo, I'm glad. I'm glad that it helps you, you know, get through your days a little easier, your nights a little easier, I hope. And thank you uh, for the kind words. A very well-deserved sub there, BB Richards. Uh, and welcome on into the sub club. Neebsy says, oh crap, do I have a founder badge? You absolutely do. Yeah, uh, that means that you were amongst the first to subscribe, I think. I'm not sure what the window is there, but... I mean, you've been around for a dang long time, so that doesn't surprise me. Uh, does anyone know what that window for Founder Badge subscription is? I actually forget. But heck yeah. Wear it with pride, Neemsy. Wear it with pride. Mr. Sky says, my guilty confession for 2023 is that I mistook a Canadian for an American. Asked where in America are you from? You know what? As a Canadian, I don't take offense to that at all. I mean, like, maybe a tiny little bit. It, but oftentimes, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, like I think our, our accents are are pretty similar. Like it doesn't surprise me at all. So it's okay, Mr. Sky, don't feel too bad about it. Rex Sterling says, You're too kind, brother. Not in the slightest. Always happy to uh give you a shout out, my friend. Uh stream around Twitch now. I just moved over in December. I want to focus more on videos for YouTube. And you really love the chat interaction features here on Twitch. I, I do agree. Like, no offense, YouTube viewers. I'm glad that you can watch where you want to watch, like, whatever platform you like. But in terms of, like, yeah, tools for engaging with your audience, Twitch is, is definitely better. So, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, Rex, this game is for PC only, but you can find it on Steam. And I'm willing to bet it's pretty deeply discounted right now. Let me just check. Dungeon Siege Steam. Uh, it is currently $1. $1 on Steam. So you can go buy it for a dollar, or you can buy the entire Dungeon Siege collection, one, two, and three three was not that great but one and two fantastic games three bucks three bucks for all three games that is an unbelievable steal if you guys like the idea of party-based rpgs 
uh, like this, just go get it. Go get them on Steam. And again, if you are picking up Dungeon Siege 1, which is this game, on Steam, check the Steam community. There is uh, a big mod pack that will unlock the expansion pack content for the game, which is not enabled by default, and also make the game run better on modern systems. So check that out if you pick it up on Steam, for sure. But yeah, that is a freaking crazy deal. There's a huge amount of excellent gaming for the price. Mr. Sky, this keyboard, this is the Yunzi AL75, 71, <laughs> I'm forgetting now, AL71, I think, the Yunzi AL71, um, but it's gorgeous, it's a beaut, it's solid aluminum, it comes in many beautiful colorways, this is a red colorway, um, and it's pretty reasonably priced. It was about a hundred bucks last I looked at it. About a hundred bucks. Gasket mounts, all that stuff. Hey, of course, Amy. Thanks again. Have a wonderful night yourself and happy new year. Happy 2024. Yo, Melanati. <laughs> I swear we'll play this game again shortly, but yo, we got the chats popping off too much. We got too many awesome folks here. Happy New Year's Eve, Melanati. Shout out to Melanati, a very dear friend of mine. Also, another amazing streamer here on Twitch. She does low-key chill gaming as well as ASMR gaming. Genshin Impact is her specialty, but she plays lots of other stuff as well. Uh, and she is a delight. Uh, Jenya, I don't know what kind of schedule you're living right now if you're just waking up, but... You know, whatever, whatever works for you. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. Happy holidays, Melanati. Happy holidays. I should keep streaming for another 56 minutes, Mr. Sky. Would that make it 2024 in New Zealand? Founders first 10? Holy crap. Maybe that means you're, you're, you are in for the top, the first 10 people to subscribe. That's wild. That's wild. I thought it was like more than that. That's very exclusive. Well, then definitely wear that badge with pride. Melanie will be forever salty. That she does not have the founder's badge. Melanie, I'm pretty sure I have the founder badge for your for for your streams for your channel. I think I do. Pretty sure. I think if you ban one of the first supporters, their badge goes to the next. <laughs> that is so evil. That is so evil. So who are you gonna who are you gonna knock off, Melanati? Who is who is ahead of you in the line? Did we get a shout out for Melanati? We probably did, and I probably just didn't notice. But please, do go follow. Do go follow. You say Happy New York? <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, you said Happy NY. I gotcha. I gotcha. I would love to go back to NYC. It's been a long time, but I like I like NYC. Well, I said I just found out last night that return flights to Japan go for only hundred bucks in April, May. I really want to go now. You should go back. You should go back. When's the last time you were in Japan, Melanati? <laughs> You're gonna... I'm sorry, the kindness is happening whether you can handle it or not. Aggressive kindness around these parts. Uh, Carl says for partners, it's the first 25. Okay, but that's still, that's still pretty exclusive. That's still pretty exclusive. Impressive. Thank you for that shout out for Melanati, by the way. Kilo Milo, hey, how you doing? I have not heard about the Fortnite Festival. What's happening in the Fortnite Festival? A 
progress of kindness. Oh, you will accept my shout out. You will accept my kindness. Danny Ta, <laughs> thank you for the aggressively kind four month resub. I appreciate your kindness, aggressive or otherwise. How are you doing, Danny Ta? And uh, welcome back to the sub club. That's worth a potato tap for sure. And then we're gonna play a little more Dungeons each year. It is a very cozy game though, you're right Rex, in its, in its own funny way. It's got, it's a, such a good vibes game, you know, for being as old as it is. The atmosphere that this game evokes is like, in incredible, incredible. Um, Danny Ta, welcome back on in, thank you for the kind support once again. Uh, what have I missed here? I missed one alluring hair flip requested by Famcam ASMR and a blood sugar check from Neepsy right now, which I'm going to do uh, just so y'all know what the deal with the blood sugar check is. I have type 1 diabetes, and so I have to monitor and closely manage my blood glucose levels. And I do that with a sensor that just sits on the back of my arm here. It's just adhesive. I swap it out every two weeks. And uh, it connects to my phone by Bluetooth, just like that. It tells me my blood sugar is doing great, nice and stable, right in my target range. So thank you for that check, Neepsy. And now, and now, it's hair flip time. It's been quite some time since we had hair flip requests, so fam camp, thank you. We're going to go get some big Nick energy going on for this, all right? I'm going to take out my, my uh, uh, EMs here, so destroy something by accident. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. It's going to be a rainy hair flip, all right? One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> That's, I'm a little out of practice. I'm a little out of practice. I way overshot on that hair flip. I way overshot. There we go. There we go. And then we have to do is uh, the uh, the uh, duck face is an important part of the hair flip. That's what makes it alluring, right? Okay, and then we're going to go back the other way. Here we go. Okay, one, two, three. Wow. There we go. When did, when did the duck face uh, tradition get added to the hair flip? I don't even remember. It's been a long time since I since I did a hair flip on <laughs> uh, on stream. It's because you guys have so much cheaper stuff to spend all your channel points on now. Back in my day, it was just hair flips and emote mode. <laughs> Thank you for the rain, by the way, Gracie. Famcam says, Chris Mel Watkins' New Year's tradition is to give me crap for still being in the previous year. He's three hours ahead of us. I love it. I love it. I hope he carries that, carries that on tomorrow. Carl says, the other day I was trying to type show love to cheer and somehow it ought to correct it to shove love. It's a, it's a very different vibe that you give in there. With the shove love. <laughs> Melanie says, You want me to go back to Japan? I see. I guess we got to the point where you finally can <laughs> see Fine, I'll leave. But remember, I can still chat from Japan. Yep, that's the one. That's definitely the reason. I'm great, Danny Ta. Any plans for tomorrow? Yes. Um, uh, my fiance Sarah and I are going to. Uh, a famous garden uh, here. There's a show garden that's that's pretty well known. It's kind of a tourist attraction here, but it's also a really beautiful garden. And in the um, winter season, they have Christmas lights everywhere. It's really gorgeous. They also have like a really lovely uh, award-winning dining room there that's in an old historical house. And so uh, I've got reservations 
for dinner at the dining room there in the gardens uh, for New Year's Eve. And that's extra special for us because last year, that is where I proposed to my fiance. So uh, it's going to be a nice, nice little, you know, uh, celebration, an anniversary of sorts, I suppose. And uh, I'm sure it'll be a lovely time because they, they always have delicious food there. It's real good. So, uh, Melanati, I would come to Japan with you. I was just there earlier this year, but it's freaking rad. I would come back, <laughs> or I would go back. You don't have to ask me twice. Um, I am looking for reasons to go back to Japan. Big Nick energy. You better believe it. You better believe it. Okay, we're done now. We're done with the Big Nick energy. The BNE is over. Now we're into the SNE. Oops. Spinny, spinny. Uh, Overthinks. I'm glad you like the hair flips. Rainy hair flips, just like in the movies. That's right, Daddy Doug. I love that y'all got that Nick hair flip emo going on too. Rex says, I used to headbang so much of my teens and now two hair flips would break my neck. I've I've been there, but not not so much that I can't that I can't still do a little windmill, a little headbang every every now and again. But I, but not not the way I used to. Not the way I used to, that's for sure. Yo, thank you for the momentary emote mode to let me get caught up. I appreciate that. DJ Lord, nah, we streaming light tonight. We just going, we just going. I don't know, we'll stop eventually, but apparently we're still going. Um, okay, so we finished a quest here, the homeless blacksmith quest. We secured Orlov's cabin and cellar in the wilderness north of Glacier. I wonder, I wonder if we head back to town, does he have different dialogue? Do we want that? You know what? Forget it. That's too far to go back. Whatever. Whatever. We'll just keep going. But that's the thing about this game is that you never really go back. You're pretty much always moving forward. So it would make sense normally for a quest giver to have different dialogue after you finish their quest. But because your chances of actually going backwards are so slim in this game, I'm not sure if they actually would bother to give the quest giver different dialogue after you finish the quest. Uh, Melanati says, my very first time I traveled to Japan, I tried to find a temple to meet a new year in, but I didn't have a proper online map, so I got lost and ended up greeting the new year alone on a dark random Tokyo street, having no idea where I was. Aw, oh, I mean, that's kind of like an adventure in its own way, but yeah, that's a little, it's a little sad. It's not quite what you were looking for, but I heard some high schoolers yelling, we in the distance, so that made me less lonely. <laughs> it was great though, would do again. The thing about Tokyo though, is it's such a like, I don't know, such a vibrant and like generally safe feeling city that even being down some random back alley at midnight in Tokyo is still like good vibes, you know? <laughs> I don't know, that was my experience anyway. We, we were wandering around quite late in Tokyo and never felt, you know, like it was dangerous or anything like that. Oh, we can't go up this way. But I guess it could be lonely. It could be lonely. You want to go to Japan this year? Next year? I can be convinced, although April, May might be difficult. Because that is, that is when I'm getting married. <laughs> so that might be, that might be a, a tricky window. But like, later in the year maybe. If I can get, get the time off. I would like to go back to Japan. 1000%. Yo, why is nobody dying here? There we go. There we go. Um...
for a second you thought I was saying B B N E like a break and enter. No, big nick energy B N E. It's true though, Melanati is literally a pro at Japan. You could take us to all the coolest places. Um No, I'm not getting married in April, I'm getting married in May. But I feel like April is gonna be uh we're gonna be, you know, trying to get all those last minute plans sorted out. Well, hopefully we haven't left everything to last minute, but I just feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're trying to get sorted in the run-up, you know? Let's put it this way, if I just suddenly disappeared to Japan in April, I don't think Sarah would be very impressed. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, okay, so we've got a random, like, dungeon here. I don't know, some random dungeon entrance. Shall we head inside? See what it's about. DJ and Lord, quick rundown of what we're playing. We are playing Dungeon Siege, which is a PC RPG from 2002. It's kind of like a party-based RPG, like Baldur's Gate 2, for example, but it's more action, combat, and loot-based, kind of like a Diablo game. It's one of the first games to have a full 3D uh, world like this that was totally seamless, no loading screens throughout. Um, and it was really like quite remarkable in its time, but for me, it's just an amazing vibes game It's kind of weirdly cozy for me. And so I really love to bust it out every once in a while That's what we play it Star Wars fan 1919 uh, it is currently 2.24 in the a.m. for me Which is very late for me to be streaming, but I don't know kind of in a celebratory kind of mood. I don't have any work tomorrow, so. Ah, uh, that was Keith that made it emote mode. Uh, I'm gonna pour out the rest of this beer for anyone wondering. Tonight's beer is the Coffee and Donuts Imperial Stout from Steamworks Brewing. It is decadent, a delightful dessert beer. I've been quite enjoying it. That's probably also because it's 10% so it's not a it's not a lightweight beer by any stretch but it's pretty tasty let's pour it out let's finish it it is thick it has got a very smooth mouth feel creamy feel it's basically black as night you know, it occurs to me the coffee in this is probably also why I'm not more tired than I currently am. Uh, but like, check it out. Like this stuff is dark. The light does not penetrate. Uh, it is like, like one step away from bread. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really tasty though. I'm not always on board with Steamworks Brewing, but this stuff is really good. Uh, Melanati, you fell asleep this afternoon and forgot to do dailies. Oh, no, that's 50 Bravos you'll never get back. Tragedy strikes. Crumple Clemens Babylon, you just woke up. Same with Melanati. Good morning, sleepyheads. Yo, Tokyo Electric. He says, Tokyo is amazing. I need to get back there ASAP. Yeah, Tokyo is very special. Uh, Tokyo, how you doing? By the way, by the way, welcome. Your next destination is Australia. Australia. We had some Australian folks in here just earlier. We can go after. I could be convinced. I could be convinced. Gravel says, we're in Australia, you want to go, and I'll give you a reason why something will kill you there. Also, Deepsy. You're one of the few that probably still remembers uh, uh, Gertrude the mouse, the origins of Gertrude. Toyota Cola, have a good night. Thanks for chilling with us. Sorry we barely got any gameplay in, but you know how it goes around here. I appreciate you stopping on in. Happy New Year. And I uh, will see you in 2024. Take care, Toyota Corolla. 
Have a great new year. No skills, thank you for the posture check. Let's roll back those shoulders, lift that chin, make sure that the back's got the proper curvature, the lumbar region, and thank you for the hydrate. Drinking calorie-free stevia sweetened orange soda to hydrate with tonight. You're having coffee with pastries right now too, but no beer. What if you just combine them all into wine? Coffee, pastry, beer. How about that? Oh man, having a nap in the afternoon like that, Gracie, absolutely ruins me for bedtime. I have such a hard time going to bed at a normal time if I nap earlier in the day. For sure. Tokyo says I'm hanging in there. Uh, yeah, I don't normally stream this late, but... I also don't normally stream on Saturdays, so, you know, we just partying tonight, we just going. Uh, the holidays have been a little bit, a little bit trying, but overall good. Thank you, Tokyo. Same to you. Same to you. I hope your holidays have been excellent. What disaster are you going to create? What kind of pastry are you eating? It's an important question. I feel like just jamming your donut into your mug of coffee and then dumping a beer in there is probably not going to have quite the same effect as this coffee and donuts stout. Not quite. But you know, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Alright, let's go into this dungeon, y'all. see what we got down here. Okay, we've got death, apparently. strudels oh that does sound very good that does sound very good I could demolish a mini apple strudel right now yummy yeah I mean that's true you never know if you don't try who am I to judge like I said you know I'll give it a shot report back inquiring minds need to know Oops, got some scary looking dudes here. Frozen. Alright. Experimentation is the road to innovation. I mean, it's, I, I cannot argue with any of this. You are absolutely correct. Neem says, I don't remember Girth Druid lore too clearly. That's fair, it was a bit of a fever dream. If it was an option on a multiple choice question, I'd get it right. But if it's a free written answer, I'd get it wrong. <laughs> Fair enough. It was also quite a long time ago. Quite a long time ago. I do, however, remember Reggie lore very clearly in that entire winter quest line. That was also quite the fever dream. Quite the fever dream. Yes, the absurd Skyrim Pokemon battle. What? A trip that was. I believe the quest was called. Was it called Santinism or was it Insanity Claws? It was one of the two. But I actually don't remember which one that was. Yeah, that was wild. Uh, the Girth Truth lore 
gosh, what were the details of the Girth Druid lore? Now even I'm forgetting. Um, <laughs> does anyone remember the specifics? Now I'm second guessing myself. It was something to do with. I remember it was Cassie was being really. I think she was. I, I don't remember why. Why were we talking about Girth Druid in the first place? Somehow, the concept of a, a very matronly mouse in a moo came up, but I don't remember how that linked into, you know, Girth. The good news is, I think, all those streams are probably still available as VODs on Twitch way back there somewhere and so if we ever wanted to do some stream archaeology to try and refresh our memories we absolutely could oh this is a health health regen shrine we should definitely use that there we go Well, and I said, nah, I had a rough enough year. I'm not ending it like that. <laughs> Shoving a donut and beer into your coffee. That's fair. That's respectable. I can't argue with your decision. I can't. Okay, I know sorry I got a lot of sleep for you guys. This has been great fun, but I probably should wrap this up at some point. Um as much as I would like to just keep going. I think at some point Sarah's gonna get grumpy with me. <laughs> if we just keep going all night long. I do wish, I do wish Twitch VODs lasted longer, but what I do is uh, when a Twitch VOD is going to expire after the 60 days, I will go and I will highlight it, um, the relevant portion, which is like the majority of the stream, right? I'll highlight it, and then it's there forever. Highlights last forever, even if they're like, you know, hours long, so most of the streaming history of this channel i believe is still is still present on uh, on twitch as vods i don't remember when i started doing that though so it is possible that that some of the older streams are missing but i think i saved all those ones and i actually posted them to youtube uh those older ones so somewhere somehow i'm pretty sure pretty much every vod from this channel still exists but they're maybe spread across old youtube videos and twitch streams which i know is not the most like intuitive way to find them but it's that all the history is there somewhere somewhere yeah it's nice that you can preserve that stuff, but there have been a few times where I missed uh, highlighting a video before it expired, and so I think there are a handful of streams that are just lost to time forever, never to be recovered. But uh, most of them, most of them are are still with us somewhere. All those amazing times over the years, friends, so many very special memories uh, for me 
hopefully for for many of you as well you know whether uh whether you, you joined us just this last year 2023 which is just wrapping up or whether you've been with us for many years like lots of you folks in the chat like tokyo like melanati like Nizi. uh so many of you folks um star wars fan over on youtube asks what do you think of games like riders republic where you can just get lost in the beautiful motions it's sad you rarely see those games i've never played riders republic but if it's anything like what a downhill madness was that the one there was an old i think like on ps2 an old uh mountain biking game is it like that or is riders republic like a snow game i actually don't know but I like exploratory games where you can just kind of enjoy the traversal and the environments for sure. I, I, I definitely think there's a place for games like that. Grapple says I'm currently in the Fallout 4 state of modding the game to Oblivion and not actually playing it. Wait, you're turning your Fallout 4 into Oblivion? That's impressive. Next stop, Skyrim. But yes. I, I know that modding situation all too well. All too well. It has been a ride, Malinati. It has been a ride. Uh, and uh, I'm so very grateful for all of it. All of it. Uh, many, many good memories that I look back on quite fondly. And plenty of opportunities to make more awesome memories with all of you uh i do think i'm gonna wrap things up here uh we made a little bit of progress here in dungeon siege today even though we didn't start playing it till you know two plus hours into the stream but uh that is the asmr nerd way and i can promise you that the asmr nerd way will continue into 2024 uh you know, life changes, the world changes, but some things, it's nice to keep them the same. Sometimes it's nice to have routine, uh, nice to have a comfortable place to return to that's predictable, you know, uh, comforting. And that's what I've always tried to, to uh, make uh, with this channel, whether it's over on the YouTube uh, side of things or, uh, well, I guess over on the YouTube side of things is also here now because I'm streaming to YouTube, but on the video side of things or on the live streaming side of things. Uh, I like to, to make a space where you can always come back to and you, you always know that it's gonna be comfy, cozy, warm, and, and welcoming. Uh, you know what to expect. So that is my promise to you in the new year. We're gonna keep doing what we've been doing for years here. You know, we add things here or there. We mix things up a little bit, but, uh, you know, still at the core. At the core is going to be about good games, good friends, good vibes. That's what we, we're all about here. And uh, have been for many, many years. So, friends... I think we're gonna uh, end up there. My voice is actually starting to go, <clears throat> apparently, as well. So, yeah, definitely time to wrap it. Uh, but let's find someone to raid before we uh, jet here. We were the recipients of a couple awesome raids today one from our good friend Draconis, ASM artist, and another from awesome friend of the channel, Amy Pie. Both amazing folks, both awesome ASMR creators, both people you should definitely be following here on Twitch, 1000%. Um, and if we could get shout outs for Draconis ASMR artist and Amy Pie, if that is possible, that would be lovely. If not, I will do it. That's quite alright. Um, but they both definitely deserve the shout outs. Um, but let's see who else is streaming tonight. It is a Saturday night, so like perhaps a different crowd than I'm used to. Normally I'm streaming on Sunday nights. Uh, oh, 
Oh, you know who's streaming? Who's streaming? Which we should go raid? Saura. Saura is streaming. Saura is uh, an ASMR VTuber, uh, a magical jellyfish person, something like that. Um, but she's really cool. Uh, the vibes there are really good. And uh, it's been a quite a long time since we visited Saura, and she is streaming live, which uh, not a lot of people are doing right now. <laughs> so uh, we will definitely go visit Saura. Let's do it. If if she is accepting rates, if she is accepting rates, we'll find out. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like she is. So pile on in, friends. Uh, if you want to uh, hang out with some continuing good vibes, some tingles, we will go visit Saura. Uh, thank you for the shout outs, Keith. Also, shout out to Melanati and FamCam, two other amazing members of this community. And amazing streamers please give them a follow as well ilk hello and good night i'm sorry you just caught us at the very end here um speaking of next stream gonna be next year it's gonna be uh thursday this coming thursday i hope that's the plan thursday night which is what december sorry january 4th so thursday january 4th around the usual time I hope to be streaming once again, once again. As y'all know, YouTube channel's open 24-7, got lots of videos over there for you. I'll have one more video coming out this year, tomorrow night, on New Year's Eve, so go check that out. Friends, thank you so much for another amazing year. Extra big thank you to our amazing moderators for all they do here, and the valuable time they give to this community. I could not be more grateful for each and every one of you. Happy New Year. I will see you 